to the praise wherever you are do not allow the devil win because in this service of greater heights trust me God of Papa Joshua again like is changing your height, is changing my height. Come on, my name is Tolulo Kwekwarakoyi, and I'm saying happy Sunday to you. We have so many people right here in the house, and they want to tell us their expectation of today's service, what they want God of Papa Joshua again like to do for them. And so also I'm also encouraging you. Please and please, you just have to have an expectation because the Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. And Psalm 75, verse 6 says. Help doesn't come from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, but from where? From God, who is the judge. So yes, cast all of your body to God Almighty. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Please come, come. I love your smile. High five. No, no, it's high. <laughs> Please come this way. Um, what is your name, sir? My name is Pastor Godwin. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. Wave to them. <laughs> Good morning. Um, sir, please, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Yobe State recently. From Yobe? How long did it get, take you to get here? Yeah, it took me almost about night. I arrived just the night. Wow. So I spent a night here in Abuja. Okay, um, sir, is this your first time in Champions Real Assembly? Not really. I've been coming for several occasions. Okay, sir, since you have been coming, what are your expectations? Have, have God done something that you can say, oh, yes, I can see the hands of God upon my life? Yes, um, I'm here to talk from my father. Mm. So I've been coming here for uh, several occasions. So I'm here to talk from the grace of my father mm. because I'm expected to go higher even in my ministry, and even in my family and my career. So that's why I'm here for in this service this morning. Hallelujah. So in this service of greater eye, there must be something. There must be one particular thing. One particular thing that you just want to lambano, or you want to grab from the oracle of God, Papa Joshua again, like, that you are saying, God, in this atmosphere, this is what? What is that one thing? Yeah, the, one of the particular things I want to talk from my father this morning is the higher grace. Mm. Because there is a grace in him that I saw. Mm. And um, that's what give me courage to follow him. And that's why to receive that grace for him so that I will also go higher in ministry as a son of the prophet. Hallelujah. Yeah. So are you prepared? It is one thing for the man of God, Papa Joshua Igenla, to release dimensional grace. It is another thing for you to be prepared to receive. Are you prepared? Yeah, I'm prepared. That's why I'm here. Are you prepared? Yes. If you are prepared, shout Ororo. Ororo. <laughs> <laughs> Do have a great service. God bless yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. Have God bless you. Honestly speaking, wherever you are, have an expectation. Have an expectation of healing. Have an expectation of restoration have an expectation of breakthrough and in this higher heights trust me through the oracle of god god is about to do something wonderful good morning ma how oh you look pinkalicious <laughs> god bless you ma. God bless you what is your name and where are you coming from um it's a shuku joy i'm coming from kogi state okay look at them look at them they're looking at you <laughs> oh sorry tell them good morning good morning good morning <laughs> Ma'am, in this service, what is your expectation? What do you want God to do for you in this service of higher heights? Uh, in this higher height service, I want God to indeed take me to the high level of spirituality, mm. more grace and more unction to mm. function now, in my ministry. Ma, 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 how long have you been following the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Iginla? Oh, I've been following this great man of God mm. for the past six years. Wow. And his God has been doing so great just in my life, even in my marriage. In fact, my life has turned around mm. since I have an encounter with this great man of God. Glory be to God. Mm. Ma, it is one thing to be ready for the next level. Mm -hmm. The next thing is... Are you here with your writing materials? Papa asks us to bring stones. Are you here with everything that the man of God asks us to come with? Of course, I'm here with everything mm. as instructed from the major prophet of God. Can you tell them, Ororo, it is working. Ororo, <laughs> it is working. Hallelujah. Do have a wonderful service. Right. God bless you. Wherever you are, the God of Papa Joshua Igina will work for you. Do not be depressed. Do not be oppressed. Do not let the devil win this battle. There is a God of Papa Joshua Igina. Let us get more people who wants to tell us about what God is about to do for them in this service of greater height. Sir, please come, come, come. You look so majestic. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning. Fine, Good thank morning. you. Please, what is your name and where are you coming from? I'm Pastor Andesechuku. Where are you coming from, sir? From Lokoja. From Lokoja? Okay. Sir, in this service of greater height, what do you want God to do for you? Father, I'm expecting God for higher impartation. 
for the ministry work and I believe that by coming here today, God will download us with a higher anointing. Sir, what is your advice to viewers all over the world? You know, so many people are doubting, is there a God who can change my story? Is there a God that can do something? What would you tell them to encourage their spirit mind? I encourage them that they should just run down to this place because mm. something is happening today. Mm. Today is ordained for us, for God to take us to a higher height. Amen. Yeah. So are you prepared for this service? Because you know, when you are going higher, you just need to be ready. Are you ready for this higher height? I'm sure I'm ready. Are you with your writing material? Yeah, my Bible and my writing material, my note is here. Wow. Papa asked us to come with some spiritual items like stones um, for spiritual prayers. Are you with them? I'm with all of them. Mm, I can see you. Are there. Yeah. Sir, high five, high five. Mm. <laughs> Do have a wonderful service. Thank you. God, right, bless God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Wherever you are, please get your stones. It's going to be supernatural in the presence of God. Wherever you are, be ready for the prayer section. Be ready for the worship section. Be ready for the praise and worship. Be ready to dance. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Let us get more people. Let us get more people. It has been wonderful. Oh, good morning, sir. Please come. Please come. How are you doing? Very fine. Thank oh, you. Oh, please come this way. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, sister. Sir, in this service of higher height, what are your expectations? What have you been telling God? Sir, my father, my father, in this service, as I step into the auditorium, under the grace of God upon Papa Joshua Igila, do so, so. What is that thing, that expectation in your heart? I, I desire a breakthrough in mm. my family. Mm. As this uh, untimely death mm. has been lingering for quite some time. I just want the God of Champions to put a stop to it. Mm. Yes. So, how long have you been following Papa Joshua Igila? Six, seven years now. Over seven years? Have you learned anything? Has your spirit man changed? Has there been any change from when you met him and now? Yes, yes. You can confirm that? Massive changes. So what has happened to your spirit man? But Daddy has taught me a lot of things. Like, that has made me, I was in the world, but right now I'm a, I'm a child of God. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, do you evangelize Christ? Do you tell people about the good news? Yes, yes. Glory. Do have a wonderful service. Same God bless you. Thank, you. Thank you for coming. Wherever you are watching us from, do you have a testimony? Is there anything God has done for you? Please call the numbers on your screen. There are counselors who will put you through on how to book, on how to, uh, to share your testimony. You need to encourage other people. You need to tell them what God has done for you through this commission and through the servant of God, Papa Joshua Igila. Let us ask, oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you doing? So please come, come, come. Look at them. They're looking at you. Wave to them. Wave to them. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good uh, morning. What is your name and where are you coming from? Uh, my name is Mr. Clement. I'm coming from Abuja, Dusi. Have you ever been to Champions Real Assembly? Yeah, this is where I worship. This is where you worship? Yeah, right from the beginning. Right from, like how many years now? About five, six years ago. Oh. Oh, that is actually not the beginning. <laughs> that was where that was where we moved down here. Yes, that is when I joined. That okay, is when I joined. Sir, in this service of greater height, do you have any expectation? Yes, I'm expecting a very great thing mm. for this check for this uh, 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 a commission to do for me. Mm. Very great, mm. and I believe. It will not pass today. Amen. Today Amen. it will be my day. Now, when service is going on, I need you to tell me what part gets you. Is it the opening prayer? Is it the praise where you worship God? The sermon? There must be a part that you're just waiting when this part comes. Your spirit man is open. Or is it from the beginning till the end? From the beginning to the end. Mm. Especially when the time of worshiping. Mm. That is when my spirit open. Mm. Thank you very much. Do have a wonderful service. May God grant all of your expectations. Thank you, sir. Wherever you are, if you are worshipping God, worship God in spirit and in truth. Do not allow the spirit of God be grieved. Are you going through pain? Worship God. Are you going through tribulation? Worship God. Is the devil trying to oppress you? Worship God. Hallelujah. We have so many people right here who are ready to receive from the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Iginla, from the throne of grace. Sir, how are you doing? You have such a wonderful smile. Thank you. Please Thank come, you. come, look at them, wave to them. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. What is your name and where are you coming from? Oh, my name is Godwin. Godwin Spirit Daramola. I just came in from Lagos. 
You just came in from Lagos, like yeah. yesterday or today? I came in through flight mm. on Saturday. Mm. Sir, there must be something that has brought you to this atmosphere. What is that one thing? Oh, you just came because, oh, let me just see how the building looks like. What is that one thing that brought you to the presence of God? All right, first of all, I came for impartation of mm. the anointing. Wow. Yeah, the prophetic grace, I converted so much on our Father in the Lord. So mm. I came here to tap, number one. Number two, I came for my business. I'm mm. a lawyer and I'm a consultant. Wow. So I want higher dimension in my business. Mm. Then thirdly, I want to travel. I want to travel the world like our daddy. Hallelujah. So, so I came with a lot of expectation mm. for this service. I can't come all the way from Lagos just to come and look. Mm. No, I came here to partake of the grace mm. on the man of God. Now, sir, it is one thing to be ready. Did you come prepared? Are your, is your Bible, your writing materials, everything needed to jot down? Are they ready? Yes, yes, everything is ready. I'm now, prepared. Sir, how long have you been following the man of God? Ah, for years now. Um, I think 2017 hmm. or 2016, 2017. Okay, what have changed when you are doing something? Something Has anything changed in your spirit, man? Has there been any difference? Yes, there's a lot of differences. Spiritually, mm. my eyes are open and mm. I can see more. Wow, 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 <laughs> and, wow. And, and the way my life was then, that's not how my life is now. Then I could not afford to book, book flight to travel, mm. but now I'm traveling with flight. So financial elevation. Financial elevation, <laughs> yes. Exactly. If this is happening, then what will happen in this service of greater oh heights? Higher heights. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, sir. So thank you for coming. Do have thank a wonderful you. one. God bless you. Wherever you are watching us from, let there be an expectation in your heart. There is a God who will change your financial status. There is a God who will change your marital status. There is a God who will change your health. The devil is just a liar who is there seeking for who to kill, steal, and destroy. And it will not be you because there is a grace upon our father, Papa Joshua Iginla, that covers each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Sir, come, come. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. And the Lord bless you too. Yes. What is your name and where are you coming from? I'm Reverend Isaac Adiyem from Ogbomosho. From Ogbomosho? Yes. How many hours did it take you? Look at them, they're looking at you. How many hours did it take you to get here? It took more than 15 hours. Oh my God. Distance is not a barrier. Did you hear that? 15 hours just to partake in the service. So, what are your expectations in the service? Uh, in fact, my expectations are very, very high today mm. because I'm starting a new work. Mm. Ministry. So I'm a minister of God, so I want a turnaround for ministry. Ministry mm. impact and supernatural turnaround. Wow. Those are the two solid things I expect from the man of God from this place. So how long have you been following the ministry? How long have you been following Papa Joshua again? Uh, 2017. Wow, wow, yes. wow. Mm. So now fact, it is... my wife is even a partner. She pays her dues here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. No, let us take this back. Did you hear that? He's saying his wife is a partner. Yeah. Please, wherever you are watching, you can partner with Champions Real Assembly. You can partner with Joshua Iginla Foundation. And let the God of Papa Joshua Iginla wrought wonders in your life. Let it thank you and may your expectation not be cut short. Do have a wonderful service. Amen. God bless you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a wonderful God one time. Amen. Wherever you are watching us from, stay glued to Champions TV Plus because the supernatural power of God is going to work mysteriously wonders there will be healings in the house so let your heart be open to receive and have faith oh sir how are you doing come 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 you look so bright good morning sir please come this way look at them they are looking at you smile to them be happy <laughs> yeah, everyone. please what is your name and where are you coming from my name is brother Emmanuel Joseph I'm from Kano State from Kano how are your people in Kano fine so what brought you to this atmosphere of um of supernatural dwelling what 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 is that thing that has brought you here that you just say oh in this service of higher height i just have to get this thing uh, first of all i will bless god for giving me this opportunity it's an opportunity for me to be here today mm. actually um actually i was here before but i came here for my brother's problem mm. actually and uh, i'd not made the man of god himself but at least my problem was solved what? And, uh, you, did, you, you didn't even meet him yeah. but you came here and god answered you Absolutely. wow wow yes. wow so I'm here today because uh, actually I'm called. Mm. Yes, I saw vision severally. I'm called not just a, a, a preacher, but at least a, a deliverance minister. Mm. Actually, because the vision I saw, I saw myself laying hand on people, delivering them. After that, I saw people in suit. 
actually where I actually lay hand on them at, uh, as an impartation. They wow. will follow the faith down. Now you're you are already experiencing the supernatural actually. just by contacting the grace from this commission. Actually, so as a result, actually, I came here and uh, as a result, immediately I saw the vision, I started uh, facing some series of uh, attacks, mm. spiritual attacks, physical attacks. Mm. So I decided actually as I love the man of God and the grace for his life, I should come down to this place to at least uh, to be possible uh, to be located and uh, prophesy and uh, at, at least uh, give the solution to my problem. Once you, one, the Bible says um, those who worship God, they worship God in spirit and in truth. Yes. The moment your heart and your spirit are open, definitely God will locate you. Uh, do have a wonderful service. May your expectation not be cut short. God bless you. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us from, did you hear that? He did not even meet with Papa, but by stepping his feet into this atmosphere of supernatural happenings, into this atmosphere, he contacted his testimony just like that. Please, distance is not a barrier. Are you watching me from that sick bed? Are you depressed? Do you feel downcasted? Let your heart be open. Have faith that the God of Papa Joshua Igela will answer you in this service of higher height. There is nothing impossible for God to do. How are you doing, sir? Good morning. <laughs> You're welcome. Please come this way. Come this way. They're looking at you. Smile to them. Greet them. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All of you. All, of, all right, all around sir. the world, across the nation. God bless you. What is your name and where are you coming from? Prophet Alexander of Light and Faith Ministry in Benue State. All right, sir. Sir, what are your expectations in this service of greater, of higher height? My expectation. I need I want God intervention in my life mm. to change my life to transform my life mm. and to transform the all men mm. coming to this ministry. Wow, mm. wow, wow. Um Sam, are you here with your writing material, your Bible, the stones? Papa asked us to come with our document. Are you here with all of them? No, because I'm not aware. Uh, now, now I am telling you, sir. Yes. Now I am telling you. So you don't live the same way you came. <laughs> yes, I will change the pattern right here all right yeah. thank you very much may the expectation of the righteous not be cautious do have a wonderful service god bless you thank you for coming wherever you are watching us from please get ready your international passport your document your certificate get all of them ready get stones because the man of god will be praying on all of this element and they are point of contact please do not take them lightly do not take them for granted good morning sir how are you doing let us get more people let us get more people come come so many people just want to. how are you good morning fine what is your name and where are you coming from my name is chima of Odile. i'm coming from Dariki. sir what is your expectation in this service of higher high what do you want God to do for you? Um, I came here with a burden. Mm. I actually want God to lift me from the burden that I have. Oh, just, you're, you're talking to them, they're looking at you. Yes. No, tell them, tell them. Yes, I want God to take me out of the dish that I am. Wow. A friend told me about this place and I felt like to come. And when I came, I saw that God is actually here. Viewers all over the world, did you hear that? A friend told him, wherever you are, Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to tell everybody that there is a God right here in Champions Real Assembly. Chiko Korekuwa, Abuja. Sir, are you, have you come prepared? Is your Bible with you? Your writing material? Is everything with you? Everything is with me. And you are ready. I came ready to receive from God. Hallelujah. Just give me the Ororo sign. Give me, see me. Ororo. Ororo. <laughs> Have a wonderful service. God bless you. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? He said he came here with a burden and he wants God to answer him. The Bible says, Come ye, O ye heavenly burden, and I, the Lord, will give you rest. Yes, the God of Papa Joshua Igenla will give you rest. Rest from sickness. The God of Papa Joshua Igenla will give you rest. Rest from depression. The God of Papa Joshua Igenla will, will give you, you rest. rest. Hallelujah. Sir, so come, come, come. Good morning. Good morning. How are, How are you? you? How, How are, are you? you? How, How are you? Daddy, good morning, sir. Good morning. God bless you. What is your name and where are you coming from? Uh, my name is David G. Onoja. I, I was formerly living in Kaduna, but right now I'm here in Abuja. Okay, sir. What are your expectations in this wonderful service? Uh, you know, in the service like this, most especially where God comes down in his playdom to bless his people, mm. I came with full of expectations. And I believe, especially in the, the prophet of God, our Papa, that mm. is it, Pastor Prophet Joshua Igela. Mm. And I know for sure, even right from when I was in Kaduna, that's a man of God that God has called 
to do his work. Mm. And that's why it is very, very necessary, not just necessarily compulsory for all believers, mm. to believe in him because the book of Deuteronomy says that if you believe in your prophet, you shall prosper. Yeah. So those who believe in him that will be prosper. Mm. You see, some people do say, the ah, man of God has not spoke to me, has not prophesied for me, this and that. It's not like that. Mm. It is when you believe in him, that you will see the, the, the spirit of God, the miracle of God through him. Okay, that is, it is possible to be here and not believe. Yes, of course. Mm. It be, it, it be right from the time of Jesus Christ, mm. even the, the Jews, they were wow. there. Even up till now, some people in Israel don't believe that Jesus Christ has really come, the Messiah has come. Mm. Up till now. So it's applicable everywhere, even in every house of God, not only here. Sir, do you believe? Very much, <laughs> very much. And I believe my prophet, Hallelujah. just like Gila. And you will get the prophet's reward. Amen. Do Amen. have a wonderful Thank one. You, Thank you very much. You. Did you hear that? Viewers all over the world, believe in your prophet so that you will get a prophetic reward. Wherever you are, let your belief system not be shattered away. I am here to introduce you to the God of Papa Joshua Igila, who will grant you a supernatural testimony in this service of higher height. Mama, please come, come. So many people, so many people. You look so beautiful. Thank you, <laughs> happy Sunday. How are you? Happy Greet them. Happy Sunday. Sunday. Greet them. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> what is your expectation for this service? Mm, my expectation. I am expecting God to bless me, mm. increase my spiritual life, mm. for me to do more, give me more grace. Wow. <laughs> now, I can see you with your phone. Did you come with your Bible? Yes, ma'am. Wow, wow, wow. And your writing material? Yes, ma'am. And the three stones? Yes, ma'am. And your document? Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Dear. High five. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank All right, do have a wonderful service. God bless you. We love you. It's been a wonderful one. Please get your documentary ready. It's going to be a supernatural dimensional service in the presence of the Lord right here in Champions Real Assembly. Please, Mama, come. Mama, come. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Mama, please come. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. God bless you. Amen. Please, what is your name and where are you coming from? My name is Pastor Christy. I'm coming from Kanu State. Glory be to God. Mama, please, what are your expectations for this service? Wow. I'm expecting a lot. I'm expecting the touch of God upon my life and the ministry. Mm. And I'm expecting that the God of Papa Joshua Igila will meet me at the point of my need this mm. Sunday. Amen. That is my expectation. Mama, how long have you been following the man of God? How long have you been listening to the word from God through the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Igenla? Wow, Papa is one of my, is one of the father I so much cherish and love. Mm. He's a father indeed to our generation. Mm. I've been following this ministry for the past six years. Mm. Yes. Ma, now um, in this service of greater heights, is there any specific thing that you have asked God for? Like, God, when I come to this atmosphere, this is what I want you to do for me. Is there any specific prayer point? What I want God to do for me is that let God increase my capacity in the ministry. Mm. That is what the exactly thing I've been believing God for this today's service. And your expectation will not be cut short. You are welcome. Please give them the Ororo sign. Give them, see them, give, see, is that it's Ororo, thank you. Have a wonderful service. Wherever you are, let there be an expectation in your heart. There is a God who never fails. There is a God who never sleeps. There is a God who never slumber. It's the God of Papa Joshua Igina who will meet you right at the point of your need. Let us get so many people. We have so many people right here. Oh, Mama, come, 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 come. How are you doing? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank the Lord bless you. How are you today? I am very fine. In one word, describe one thing you are expecting in this service. Oh, I'm expecting the mighty hand mm. of God mm. physically and spiritually mm. in my life and in my family hallelujah thank you very much and as you have come with that expectation God will meet you at the point of your need Amen. thank you you as all over the world did you hear that she wants to see the hand of God in her life physically and spiritually it means once the hands of God touches you spiritually physical manifestation is unstoppable oh mama come 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 before we start the service proper let us get so many of them how are you can i get a hug hug good morning ma how are you the lord bless you please come this way come this way thank you um 
in this service, did you come with the items Papa asked us to bring, like our document? That one, the... for sure. Uh, what did you say? That for sure. That <laughs> one, for sure. You yes, all over yeah. the world. If you don't understand what she said, she said that one is for sure. Yes. That is the Fijian language in yeah. Nigeria. Yes. Now, I've, as you have come, is there one thing you want your to do for you in this atmosphere? Uh, many things. Mm. Many things. In my family, my marriage. I mm. went to to visit my marriage, my mm. husband's business, my son. First, I'm expecting the fruit of the wood because I have one son. Mm. I believe the God of Papa, he will do it. Mm. That is my expectation. And usually, if you are missing champion, you are missing that because champion is a place to be. Did you hear that? If you are missing in champion, <laughs> You're missing a lot, okay. Yes, I beg and invite everybody. When we are enjoying the chapter, come and enjoy. Hallelujah. God is leading really here. Our Hallelujah. Papa, Papa Joshua Gila, is a man of God, a man of all, a man of honesty. If you are still there, mm. you are you are dancing, you are still missing. Mm. Please come and enjoy what we are enjoying the chapter. Amen. And that enjoyment will not cease in your life and your family's Amen. life. Do have a great service. God bless you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you very much. Wonderful viewers all over the world. Distance is not a barrier. Kindly come to Champions Real Assembly wherever you are. Come with an expectation. And if you're unable to come, make sure your television screen is right there on Champions TV+. Plus. Wherever you are, if you have testimonies, you can call our counselors or send them to our email. City of Wonders, CRA at yahoo.com. And I would also like to remind you that our 16th anniversary is coming up. The school of the prophet is coming up. Honestly speaking, it's going to be a wonderful one right here in this atmosphere. Oh, Mama, come. Eh? I see the glory of God radiating upon you. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. Please, what is your name? My name is Stella. Your name is Stella. Madam Stella smile. <laughs> now, in this service of higher height, do you have any expectation? Is there anything you want God to do for you? I want God to heal one of our brother that is sick. Hmm. And also in this God, uh, service, I want God to send to me and break every yoke that has been delaying me hmm. maritally. Amen. Now, in this service, is there any specific parts that gets to you? The prayer section, the worship section, um, the praise, the sermon. There must be one part or is it all of the parts? Mostly the sermon. When Papa mm. is missing, always touches my heart. Through Papa Simon, I've learned a lot of things. Mm. I've learned many things that make me to go higher today. Through his Simon. Mm. Now, as you have been listening to Papa Simon and it has been changing you, have you been inviting your friends? Have you been telling them about Christ? Yes, I've been doing that. Because one of the reasons Papa teaches us the word is for us to go out there and duplicate and multiply the kingdom of God. Have you been doing that? Yes, I've that, been doing that. I've been wow. inviting people, even champion, wow. to come and experience the Roro in champion. The Roro in champion is really working for me. It has changed many things in my life. I came to this church with pains in my heart. Mm -hmm. But since I've attended, I've attended this church, God has been pulling them off from my life wow. and put the Roro in my life. Oh, do have a wonderful service. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you hear that? No, thank you. Have a wonderful service. Did you hear that? Ever since she came to this atmosphere, it has been testimony upon testimony upon testimony. Such a great evangelist. It is one thing to listen to the word of God. The word of God is sharper than two edged sword. It is one thing to hear the word of God. Do not be an hearer alone. Be a doer. Tell people about Christ. Tell people about Champions TV Plus. And tell people about Champions Real Assembly. Hallelujah. Mama, come. Please come, come, come. Oh, I can see this. Your majesty my How are you? <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. You look so beautiful. And you too. You look awesome. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Mama, in this service of higher height, oh are there God, any oh expectations? My... Is there something oh, you Jesus. are just saying? In this service, I will live here with something. My sister, mm. I will live here, live here with greater heights, 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 and in fact, I don't know, I'm going here with abundant, amazing heights Amen. that nobody can catch up with me, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. What is your advice, Ruth? You know, so many people are just depressed. The devil brings so many things to make people not believe there is a God. What is your advice to them? If you see me, you're seeing a testimony. Mm. See me, you're seeing a miracle. Mm. That I'm alive here today is the God of my daddy, brother, mm. Joshua Igila. Wow. In, I almost gave up. Uh, let me give a brief testimony. Can I do okay, that? Okay, okay. I almost gave up in 2007. 
Jesus. I saw daddy in a revelation. I've never met him before. Wow. I saw him in a revelation. He did, did deliverance for me in 2008 when I saw him in that revelation. In, in the revelation? I've never met him before. Wow. I've never heard of champion. I saw him. He deliver, did deliverance for me. Wow. And I vomited. What I vomited was so much. Jesus. And it was on a Sunday morning, 5 a.m. I woke up. So I started calling people. But I had an idea of where the environment that church was. Wow. So I started calling people around there. I said, please, is there any prophet around? They said, yes. People brought me there. Wow. Could you believe what happened? What happened? I immediately, pa Papa entered the church. It was a very small church then. Oh, yeah. Immediately he entered the same cloth he was wearing. Wow. And I made sure I sat on the fourth row where I was sitting. Wow. But I saw myself in the church. So what you saw in the dream, he, yes, I you saw it in reality? Up. Yes. Wow. And he came there, exactly what happened in that dream happened. Wow. And, but I didn't vomit. This can only be God. Thank you for yes. this wonderful testimony. So I'm encouraging everyone, if you believe in God, believe in your pros prophet, you shall prosper. Wow. Whatever comes from this throne of grace, don't doubt it. It must surely come to pass. Just... Hold on, wait, it will surely come to Thank pass. you very much. Do have a wonderful service. We love you. God bless you, man. My sweet daughter of God. <laughs> You're blessed. Amen. One of the reasons why we do this is to encourage the faith of people. So many people are on the sick bed. We are going to be rounding up right now because we are going to the opening prayer shortly. So we are going to be rounding up right now. So many people are sick. So many people are depressed. So many people are even oppressed and they are asking, is there a God? Is there a God who can liberate? Yes, I am here to confirm to you. You can hear the testimony from her. There is a God who can liberate. There is a God who can deliver. There is a God who can also restore. Please do not be downcasted because we are going to the opening prayer shortly and I would like you to follow us periodically and do not touch that die. Oh, sir, come. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. High five. It, oh, no, no, it's high. High. Because it's higher height. Yeah. Like, give me high. Hi. Uh -huh. Come this way. It is higher height. High five. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Enoch Beatles. Sir, where are you coming from? I came from Joss. The Lord bless you. Yeah. How, what is that thing that you have come to receive from the oracle of God? And you have said, God, as I reach this atmosphere, let this and this happen. Is there that thing? Is there something burning inside of your heart? Yes. Really? This is my second time here. Mm. When I came here, I was watching him as a channel, Champion mm. Royal Assembly channel. Mm. So I see what the movement of the miracle was happening. Mm. So I just came here. My expectation one, God should give me a job. Mm. Two, God should help me to discover my talents. Mm. Yes, because I have seen what is happening here. I know my coming here cannot be the same. Mm. And surely I have came here to receive. Hallelujah. Amen. No, no. The Bible says prayer without work yes. is fruitless. Are you walking towards it? It is one thing to pray. Mm. Are you walking towards it? Yes. You can't just pray and sit back home. Mm. Are you following the prophetic instruction given by our father, Papa Joshua Igenla? Yes. Because this is the first time, where, the first day where I started watching him. Mm. Really, I saw. The topic is another kind of wisdom. You even remember the topic? Yes. Wow! Another kind of wisdom. I really have impact on that word. You know, sometimes without wisdom, you miss where you are going. Mm. Yes, mm. wisdom is like a focus. Mm. When you receive wisdom, you have focus in life. So that message, I received that message, I was shake. Mm. I know that that message has touched me. Mm. So I say, whenever I came to Abuja, mm. I will come to this place. I will mm. visit him and sow a seed to him. Wow, wow, yes. wow. Thank you. Such a wonderful yes. determination. Thank May you. God hear your prayers in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us from, is there something God has laid in your heart? Is there something God has asked you to do? Please listen to the voice of God. Because God never fails, He never disappoints. Just the word of God, just the word from the throne of heaven through our Father and the Lord, Papa Joshua Igila. Your life and your family's life can be transformed. Do not die in silence. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Happy Sunday. The Lord bless you. How are you today? Thank God. Okay. Um, in this service, what do you want God to do for you? Yeah, I am here because of 
uh, what God has done to, for me through the ministry of uh, Papa Egela. That was uh, 2016 precisely. Okay, you know what you now do? Yeah. Make sure you give it as a testimony during the service. Okay. Did you come prepared today? Yeah, I You are with your writing material, your yeah, stones and I'm, everything. And with everything. That is wonderful. May God have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. If I greet them, greet them. Tell them Ororo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Make sure you give your testimony. I will, I will. Thank you very that much. That is the reason why I'm here because even when I tried to travel, my spirit was, did not allow me to. No problem. So the spirit was telling me, give the Make testimony. Make sure you share. Share it. Oh, one more. Oh, Mama, come, come. Do have a wonderful service. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, Mama, the Lord bless you. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Do you have what you want God to do for you in this service? Yes. All right. Um, did you come prepared? Yes, I'm prepared. Okay. I just want you to smile because you have been frowning. Smile. Hallelujah. Do you have a wonderful service. God will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Thank you very much. Wherever you are watching us from, stay tuned to Champions TV Plus. We are praying for you. Today's service of Higher Height is going to be another supernatural, explosive service in the presence of God. Have faith. Let God, in His infinite mercy, grant all of your heart desires. Make sure you are with all of your documents because the presence of God will move like never before. Distance is not a barrier. I am Tolu Lokwe Karakoyi. Keep watching Champions TV Plus. We love you. And yes, Never allow the devil take your faith away from you. Never allow the devil tell you what you are not. Never allow the devil tell you what God has not called you to be. Yes, please. Wherever you are watching us from, we love you. We are praying for you. There is nothing impossible for God to do. And yes, I would also want to do a reminder of our anniversary. It's going to be supernatural right here in Champions Real Assembly. School of the Prophet is coming up. Wonderful viewers all over the world. Pastors, evangelists, deacons, workers. You are invited to the School of the Prophet with our father, Papa Joshua Iginla. And if you have not been reading Papa Joshua Iginla's books, please keep reading Papa Joshua Iginla's books. If you are not following us on our social media platform, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and yes, YouTube. Hallelujah. That is how we said distance is not a barrier. You want to go And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. A new wave of glory is about to hit the land of Zambia. It is time for a prophetic, supernatural, volcanic eruption as the Oracle of God, Brother Joshua Igila, stormed the city of Lusaka, Zambia. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord is about to do in this prophetic gathering. God's servant, Brother Joshua Igila, is coming with redemptive, undiluted word of God. Some of you are where God was. You are not where God is. Ah, oh my God. Ten years ago, you were a man of the spirit. But now, you are no longer a daughter of the spirit. You are a daughter in the flesh. Because you have lost your bearing in the realm of the spirit. You have navigated out of the spirit. We are the church that is playing and not praying. We are the generation that doesn't understand passion for God and the spirit. The problem is not that the anointing is not in the church. The anointing is in the church, but we have refrigerated it. We have put the anointing in freezer. The anointing has become ice block. It was supposed to be a liquid flow under the pressure of terrific fire. But because the anointing has been freezed, we have men so anointed with refrigerating anointing. The anointing is supposed to be a flow of a liquid. It has become an ice block so that a generation cannot contact content. 
the works of the spiritual man are foolish to the carnal man but to be carnally minded is dead but to be spiritually minded is life everlasting and peace when the holy ghost is moving a carnal man cannot understand divine classical prophecies Gabriel you are Gabriel allow him you are Gabriel there is battle yes, there is a foundational battle oh. I see a journey several years ago November 11 precisely it's going to be your 10th year in marriage is it true is it true no baby at all they have had Cynthia a woman no baby at all I want to give you twins people are dying anyhow in the family you cannot understand who is Joseph you are Joseph. Yes, sir. You are called. Yes, sir. But there are struggles. Are you are struggle. living in one place. Things are difficult. difficult. But in your father's family, people are just dying. Yes, Things are just very difficult. Very difficult they attack Francis. Yes, sir. He died. He died mysteriously. Yes, sir. They attack Peter. Yes, sir. Peter died mysteriously. Yes, sir. I want to reverse the arrow of death. Yes, your father, they attack him. Yes, sir. In your lane. Yes, sir. He died mysteriously. Yes, sir. Who is Margaret? My mother. Your mother. Yes, there is a lot of battle. Yes, sir. But I want to return it back yes, to sender. Yes, Who is Gloria? My wife. Your wife. Yes, sir. Who is Christian? My Who is Christopher? My Who is Solution? I saw Muhammad on your head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I saw a star. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are a man of God. Is it true? You are a prophet of God. Is it true? You have seen me pray for you in the dream. Is it true? Yes, sir. Can I shout you again? I enter into your church. I look at the sunburn. Yes, sir. I see arena of things. Hallelujah ministry. Ah, I'm checking to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I we went back from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 years of ministry. Is it true? Put the mic. I'm not hearing you. Is it true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is Oche Johnson? Oche Johnson. Hey, answer me. Ah. Leave him. Leave him. Who is Oche Johnson? Do, answer. Do I know you before? No, sir. Because I'm seeing something wrong. Witches are eating his kidneys. Yes, father. Is, uh, is it true? Yes, sir. Is it true? Yes, sir. I am seeing him in the hospital. Yes, sir. They are doing dialysis. Yes, sir. Yes, eh? yes, sir. Yes, sir. They wanted to do surgery today. Surgery yes. That is true. Deliverance. The sick shall be healed and the bearing shall carry their babies. Think oversized glory date 30th of september to the 2nd of october 2022 venue woodland stadium lusaka zambia friday and saturday 13 hours zambia time and on sunday champions royal assembly plot 529 charleston green salama park lusaka zambia time 7 a.m prompt there will be a supernatural prophetic impartation for our ministers and pastors at the special school of the prophet will be ongoing to grant a spiritual prophetic acceleration and unstoppable move of the spirit date 3rd and 4th of october 2022 venue Plot 5 to 9, Justin Green, Salama Park, Lusaka, Zambia. For more inquiries, please call plus 260-972-390489 or plus 260-771-944277. It is going to be an anointing and fit washing service. Come and be a partaker of the blessing. Oversized glory. Hello, viewers. Hello, sons and daughters of Joshua Egila. My names are Joshua Egila and I have a good news. And the good news is that by the special grace of God, I will be in Zambia 
on the 30th of September and it's going to be a great one. And the theme is Oversized Glory. Behold, the scripture says, In the latter days I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall see vision and prophesy. And I will wrought mighty and wonderful works. You can't afford to miss this great harvest of program. And the theme is Oversized Glory. On the 30th of September to the 1st of October is going to be 13 hours in Woodlam Stadium, Lusaka. Wherever you are from every part of Zambia, I want you to make it a day to be part of it. Are you from Botswana, Zimbabwe? You are from Tanzania, South Africa? You are from Malawi? You are from any part of the Southern region? Make it a day to be part of what God is about to do. Like I repeat, on the 30th of September, 13 hours in Woodlamp Stadium, Lusaka, 1st of October, 13 hours in Woodlamp Stadium. And on Sunday, we're going to be in our church, Champions Royal Assembly, Salama Park in Lusaka. You can't afford to miss it. On Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is going to be the school of the prophet. You are a son of the prophet and you are trusting God for the prophetic. You need prophetic maturity, prophetic presentation, prophetic incubation, prophetic revelation, prophetic impartation, implantation. It's going to be a massive one. I will be taking the class teaching directly from morning to evening and you are going to have an opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one with me all the sons of the prophet wherever you are from zimbabwe botswana malawi right now take that phone call this space are limited we are not going to admit more than some few people in this space it's going to be a spiritual marathon a prophetic one god have sent me to raise up men and on the fifth of October being on Wednesday 13 hours in our own church Champions Royal Assembly Lusaka Salama Park there's going to be a women international conference which is titled the prophetic woman my own wife Prophet Estella Joshua Aguila will be speaking to all the women anointing them impacting and implanting it's going to be a refreshing moment and of course i'll be with her too to also pray for you it's going to be a downpour of others sisters in zambia great women in zambia women of one in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, arise. Akatatata, Kuragado, Zitukate, Relikoto Riganosia. Pray in Jesus' name of pray. Amen. The title of today's theme is Oh, Higher Height. This morning, you are going to pray this prayer. You say, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. I walk in higher height. I walk in higher height. I manifest in higher height. I manifest in higher height. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, I walk in the I manifest it. 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 Look at the 
Zikadoi, Zataba, Zikado, Zikado, Intake, Likoto, Liko Sikade, Sada, Ako Parigadosa, Eko Tikaprado, Rezi, Ako Tikaprado, You must understand that there are powers that always fight people, and there are forces that always limit people from it. It's even the touch of God. This morning, you are going to open your mouth and pray. Say, My Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, every satanic covering over my life, every satanic covering over my life, every demonic covering over my life, every demonic covering over my life. Today, I command you to cast fire. I command you to cast fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every demonic covering over my life, 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 Ayoke tete zikapra reku bubu galota e kafrika do sika e luko sika do reku galada ya kafrika do sika ya galada ya galada reko sote akope ya dopa amen. If you know you have a testimony, please kindly meet Pastor Sunday at the back and share your testimony. But then you must understand that the close mouth is a close destiny. You refusing to pray against the enemy will stop the enemy from attacking you. This morning you are going to open your mouth and pray this prayer. Say every demonic covering over my life. Every, every demonic covering over my life. Every demonic covering over my life. Every demonic covering over my life. Today is fire in the name of Jesus. Today is fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray a prayer. Retosi kabosia. Ekato rade kuprade. Rezu dugadaba. Ekato yekote. We command you to expire in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are in the month of September. I don't know the spiritual embargo, the every demonic embargo, the enemy have peace over your life. You are going to open your mouth and pray this prayer. Every demonic embargo, any demonic embargo, the enemy has peace over my life in September. Today, today, cast fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic embargo over my life in the name of Jesus. Today, I command you cast fire. I command you cast fire. Expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic embargo in the name of Jesus. We command you. Expire now. Expire now. Radada. Rokozi. Amen. If you know you have a testimony that you want to share with the house of the Lord, please kindly meet Pastor F Sunday at the back to share your testimony. But then, there was one spirit that changed the life of Jacob. And that spirit was the spirit of, he insisted. 
He insisted that he will not allow the angel go or let his blessing. This morning, you are going to say, Oh God of my father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Oh, oh God, God of, of my father, Papa, Papa Joshua Aguila. I will not go back the same way I have come. I will, I will not, not go, go back, back the same way, way I Open your mouth and fire that prayer. My I father, my father. Father. The God of Joshua Aguila. I refuse to go back the same way I came. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to There were many widows in Israel, but Elijah was sent to only one widow, which is Zarephath. There were many laborers in Israel, but Elijah was sent to only one man, which is Naaman. This morning, you are going to open your mouth and pray. That, oh God of my father, Papa Joshua, again. Oh, oh God, God of, of my father, father Papa Joshua, Joshua don't pass me by. Do not don't pass me by. by. Open your mouth and fire that prayer. Pass me by. 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 Pass me John chapter 19 verse 30 he said when Jesus Christ therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished 
I don't know any problem you have brought here today. But I stand to declare as the son of the prophet. I said that problem, it is finished in the name oh, of God. Amen. I don't know the contract you have been chasing after all these years. I said it is finished in the name of God. Amen. I don't know that bargainess you have brought here to today's service. I said it is finished in the name Amen. I said it is finished in the name of Amen. Today. So we declare this service open in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the service. Come on in this atmosphere. Can you lift up your voice one more time and appreciate God this morning? Lift it up, lift it up. Adore the majesty. Glorify him. Father, we worship you. You are the God who was, who is, and me to come. Jesus. Hey. Jesus. Lord, you are trust. My love is in your hands. Asha. Jesus. You are the miracle of King God. Yeah. You are the God who was, who is, who is, and is to come. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, in you I trust. Jesus, you are the miracle working God. Help me sing you are. Carry me, yeah. when some carry the ark. 
God. You feel me, Lord, when some feel me, your God. You fought for me when some fight for the God. Sit, Jesus. Worship God. It's enough for you to appreciate Him. Ah, lift up your hands so you get it. And let the King of Glory come in. Sahatele beratatias, felatita paratas. Ah, you're not a man. You're not a man. You're the God of Stars, no man can shot. Hey, you're not a man. Oh. You're not a man. Oh. You're the God.
I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No change holding me It's not too stupid Messiah I'm free indeed. In Christ I'm free indeed. No change We're watching this advert is not a coincidence it's prophetically planned just begin to make sure you get yourself prepared the space are limited start calling the numbers right now the program starts on the 30th of september i repeat once more and first of october in woodland lusaka stadium and it's 13 hours and it's going to be a rain of healing miracles you are blind you are sick you are dark asthmatic cancerous any kind of sickness god is going to heal you i'm specially inviting you don't miss it for anything don't miss it for anything this is your set time don't forget when god is on the throne nothing is impossible shallow
so glorious in your way you are glorious so glorious in your way you are glorious so glorious in your way and you are merciful so merciful in your way you are merciful I worship Shiraku Dikwe I worship Ochogwe Racha I worship Shiraku Dikwe Sing I worship
Then it turned to fire. Ashaka, my worship is my weapon. This is how in my body. Hey. First it was fragrance. Then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how in my body. This is how in my body. It was Ah, 
just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Hey, Asha. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name, Father to talk, ah. spirit to spirit, I'm enlightened by your words. You don't understand, hey, hey. and with your bread of life, that's how I come my life. That's how I change my world. Ah. Hey, cause Father to talk. From the spirit to my spirit, I'm enlightened by your word. Hey, and with your bread of life, that's how I come my life. That's how I change my world. Lift it up, lift it up, just preach your name. Just reach your name Jesus,
sons and daughters. Hello, viewers. Hello, sons and daughters of Joshua Egila. My name is Joshua Egila, and I have a good news. And the good news is that by the special grace of God, I will be in Zambia on the 30th of September, and it's going to be a great one. And the theme is oversized glory. Behold, the scripture says, In the latter days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall see vision and prophesy. And I will wrought mighty and wonderful works. You can't afford to miss this great harvest of program. And the theme is oversized glory. On the 30th of September to the 1st of October is going to be 13 hours in Woodlam Stadium, Lusaka. Wherever you are from every part of Zambia, I want you to make it a day to be part of it. Are you from Botswana, Zimbabwe? You are from Tanzania, South Africa? You are from Malawi? You are from any part of the southern region? Make it a day to be part of what God is about to do. Like I repeat, on the 30th of September, 13 hours in Woodlam Stadium, Lusaka, 1st of October, 13 hours in Woodlam Stadium. And on Sunday, we're going to be in our church, Champions Royal Assembly, Salama Park in Lusaka. You can't afford to miss it. On Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is going to be the school of the prophet. You are a son of the prophet and you are trusting God for the prophetic. You need prophetic maturity, prophetic presentation, prophetic incubation, prophetic revelation, prophetic impartation, implantation. It's going to be a massive one. I will be taking the class teaching directly from morning to evening. And you are going to have an opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one with me. All the sons of the prophet, wherever you are, from Zimbabwe, Botswana, Malawi, right now, take that phone, call this space are limited. We are not going to admit more than some few people in this space. It's going to be a spiritual marathon, a prophetic one. God has sent me to raise up men. And on the 5th of October, being on Wednesday, 13 hours in our own church, Champions Royal Assembly, Lusaka Salama Park, there's going to be a women international conference which is titled the prophetic woman my own wife prophet Estella Joshua Aguila will be speaking to all the women anointing them impacting and implanting it's going to be a refreshing moment and of course I'll be with her to to also pray for you it's going to be a downpour of harvest sisters in Zambia great women in Zambia women of wonders in Zambia. You can't afford to miss. We've chosen to dedicate just one week for you. It's time. It's time. You are one of the end time giants that God is about to raise. Don't miss it. If you are my son and my daughters and every part we are watching, this advert is not a coincidence. It's prophetically planned. Just begin to make sure you get yourself prepared. The space are limited Start calling the numbers right now. The program starts on the 30th of September, I repeat once more, and 1st of October in Woodlam Lusaka Stadium. And it's 13 hours, and it's going to be a rain of healing, miracles. You are blind, you are sick, you are dark, asthmatic, cancerous, any kind of sickness. God is going to heal you. I'm specially inviting you don't miss it for anything don't miss it for anything this is your set time don't forget when god is on the throne nothing is impossible shallow Keep 
Lord. Keep walking. Look at that father. Can you show? Look at that one. Can you show? And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. A new wave of glory is about to hit the land of Zambia. It is time for a prophetic, supernatural, volcanic eruption as the Oracle of God, Brother Joshua Igila, stormed the city of Lusaka, Zambia. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord is about to do in this prophetic gathering. God's servant, Brother Joshua Igila, is coming with redemptive, undiluted Word of God. Some of you are where God was. You are not where God is. Ah, oh my God. Ten years ago, you were a man of the spirit. But now, you are no longer a daughter of the spirit. You are a daughter in the flesh. Because you have lost your bearing in the realm of the spirit. You have navigated out of the spirit. The church that is playing and not praying. We are the generation that doesn't understand passion for God and the Spirit. The problem is not that the anointing is not in the church. The anointing is in the church, but we have refrigerated it. We have put the anointing in freezer. The anointing has become ice block. It was supposed to be a liquid flow.
Celebrate him as you come out, bro Abu Oloche. Go back again. Mrs. Adiza Mohammed, brother Ifai Chiogo, and bro Abu Oloche. Celebrate them as they come out. Celebrate them, celebrate them.
started praying with it. So, and he told me I'll be relevant in my workplace. It also came to pass. Celebrate Jesus. The Papa gave her prophecies. Two, two different prophecies. One for promotion. She's due for the promotion. And now the promotion has come to pass. Celebrate Jesus. Then, secondly, on the 11th of July, 2021, he now told me that God has empowered me and he's lifting me up above my enemies. Indeed, God has lifted me up above my enemies. The civil service of federal civil service is regimental, but God brought me from the last, from on the nominal row, I'm the most junior, and they've been attacking me. And God brought me now and gave me promotion. All those people writing petition against me, they are, my, they are under me now. now. So, so I thank, I thank God. 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 around your destiny financially and I will give you relevance even at your place of work and that your loneliness is over. Financial surprises are coming. Financial surprises are coming. This is another blessing coming in this guy. In the midst of your enemy, the Lord said I will lift you. So they shall fire. God is about to surprise you at your place of work. Another kind of surprise. It's, it's not what you are prepared for. It's another one. Another one. I can't just even say it because we are here. The Lord said I'm opening another door. Somebody shall fire. Then, um, um, on, I sat for the exam. It wasn't easy. So on on Tuesday morning, the results, this is the promotion. And, and I came outstanding, outstandingly first, as Papa declared. And I'm above all, that my, all those my enemies. They are now my juniors and they are seniors. I say, God that has done this, may all glory, may all honor and thanksgiving be ascribed unto his name alone. And I thank my daddy in the Lord, Brother Joshua Aguila, and our mama, Prophet Estella, for following me up and guiding me. I also thank all the people that work with me that made all these possible. There are so many, but I'm just bringing out the unique ones. I say, the name of the Lord be praised. I also thank all the pastors and members of this church for being there with me. Praise the Lord! Celebrate Jesus for this wonderful testimony. Is that how to celebrate God after encounter with Papa? Double prophecies and both came to pass. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. My name is uh, Mr. Michael Jibrin Jaco. Beside me is my wife, my lovely wife. Four months ago, I gave birth, I gave a test about my daughter was safe delivering. But what amazed me is this is my month of birthday. I am now asked God that God do something that I have never witnessed in my life. And God, indeed, God have done it for me. And I have come to return all the glory to the God of this mission, to the God of Papa Joshua Agula, that he has done me good. And he has made me to laugh. And people that I heard, they shall laugh with me. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. This is his birthday month. God bless them with a child. And he has been praying to God that the God of Champions Royal Assembly, the God of Papa Joshua Aguila, should do something for him on his birthday. And God has done it for him. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Champion shot fire. I have the two testimonies to share. The first one was my uh, senior daughter. Whenever she had to deliver, she would deliver in a very critical way. BP would be disturbing her to the extent that I don't even understand. So they invited me for a program of Papa's bed. It was opportunity to have the anointing uh, Aurora water. So when I went home, now she was on her third pregnancy. I have to pray. She's in Benway State. I said, God, God of 
Joshua again now. Uh, this land is not a barrier. I'm using this Ororo water and pray as pray is all over. They are not going to this land. Delivers safe without PP. Celebrate Jesus. Then the second one is my junior daughter. It was. No, she wake me up. Say, I slept up. Then we slept in the morning when she went to her working place. Uh -uh. She came back and said, Mommy, something happened to me. I said, What? She said, As I went to work, I went to the restroom and she sat on the uh, toilet seat. The toilet seat is scattered. So she rushed out and she was telling her a colleague that the uh, toilet seat is scattered. Or they say, Praise the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Now, Papa appeared to her in a dream and prophesied to her daughter and said, Wake up and pray because of this terrible bad thing that is about to happen to you. And they prayed. After the prayers, the daughter went to a working place. And when she went to the restroom, trying this herself, the toilet sitter broke into pieces just like that. She has come to celebrate God. Celebrate Jesus for delivering her daughter from the evil plot of the enemy. Celebrate the God of champions. Only in champions, testimonies like this are being recorded. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Champion shot fire. That's not for my God. Champion shot fire. Oh, please. My name is Rolay Fine Chiobo. God has done a wonderful thing in my life. For the first time, I, when I came in, I was jealous of those that do estate. I was so interested. That was my first. But the testimony in it was that miraculous, miraculous. I wanted to acquire, I was interested in acquiring a car. My friends within around me were buying cars. So I put the heart in school. Let me acquire a car. But after I said it, just two days, they brought the car, and that very day, I wanted to offer the check. The son of the papa, don't walk by spirit. Don't walk by flesh. You walk by spirit. I was like, ah, what's the flesh? What's the spirit? I want this car. I stand up. I see myself going back to the house and tell him, look, I'm not interested in it. And the next day, just the next day, the day to after, the next day, I tell you, I got a property in a place I never expected I would afford that property. In a price that I never expected. The sea of old, it was a marvelous to have. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Just like that, God blessed him with a land. Celebrate Jesus. I pray for every one of us here. Be Lord for land, for a property upon our father, Papa Joshua Igila, we begin to speak for you. You will buy your own land in Jesus' name. Shot fire. Not even only that, as of just three months, I bought this property. Demolitions came to my side where I have my own partner house I'm living now. Demolition came there. 
and it was like, wow, God, is it because I bought this? But I, I saw that, you know, have a relaxed. I went to have a pool of cider. I know I'm not preparing the church, but there are people here that love me. They bring everything. I connected with it in the net. They built it me. I spread around my house. The commander in chief and of efforts officer close to me lose his roof because they are demolishing. But I tell you, I was in my office relaxed. They did not touch my building. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. There is power in the water of the pool of Bethesda. Use that water. Everything in the city of wonders has power in them. As long that thing is taken from the city of wonder, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus for this wonderful testimony. Celebrate Jesus. Tap your shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. My name is Abu Oloche. I want to testify to the goodness of God upon my life. It has not been easy for me for the past five months now since April 26 and May 30 that before when I fraud my account. It has not been easy. So I keep struggling, running into debt, and I see that it's beyond my power. I went on a prayer line and I put for deliverance. That was the second Sunday of, in the month of August. And Papa gave me an appointment and I made Papa the following Sunday. Told Papa immediately I appeared. Papa told me that he asked me, I gave you a prophetic word. I said, Yes, sir. He said, What is the prophetic word that I gave to you? I was trying to beat around the bush. He said, Go straight to the point. What is the prophetic word? And I told him, This is what you told me. He said, You refuse to do it. I said, Yes, sir. He said, Okay, I will pray for you. God is going to restore you back. I said, Amen. He said, Go and lie down on this altar. He sent me from there to come and lie down on the altar here. I lie down like minutes and I told God all what I want because that's what he told me that I should tell God all what I want to see in my life or everything so I did it and I left as I left that week God began to turn things around my life turn things around my life and that very week that very week the shop that I'm managing in the village there the owner rides up and told me that you want to market the you want to sell the shop I say, wow, and I don't have money. What am I going to do? I'll be calling everybody for help. No one to respond to me. I say, God, take total control. And to the glory of God, it started like that. After Papa prayer, my business started doing greatly, greatly. As Praise the Lord. And after the prayers that Papa gave him, lying down on the altar to ask God all the things that he wanted, God miraculously Bless his business and he acquired the property. Celebrate Jesus. And another testimony is last two weeks ago, by God's grace, I have an attack in the dream. They shot me in the dream. That was around 4 18 a.m. I woke up. It was that exactly hour. And I prayed to God. I went back to sleep. God scattered their plot. So I was not be able. I don't know what hold me down not to come to church. That, that, Jesus, celebrate Jesus for all these testimonies. Celebrate God. I just 
somebody is still putting his hand together. Hallelujah. brought us to the ninth month of the year and if you're excited that this god had seen you to the first sunday of the ninth month of the year 2022 in spite of all that is happening come on lift up your right hand and shout fire shout fire shout fire yeah 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 i declare you will see beyond 2022 in the name of jesus it is settled it is time.
viewers, hello, sons and daughters of Joshua Egila. My name is Joshua Egila, and I have a good news. And the good news is that by the special grace of God, I will be in Zambia on the 30th of September, and it's going to be a great one. And the theme is oversized glory. Behold, the scripture says, In the latter days, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Please stand in appreciation to God Almighty. Lift up your right hand. Hallelujah. Begin to speak to that offering in your hand. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to speak. This is a fatal ground. Begin to declare to that offering. Send that offering on an errand. That offering can hear you. Begin to speak to it. Begin to speak to it. Viewers all over the world, it is time for offering. We enjoy you to make your offering payable to the God of this great commission. You can pick any of the bank details that will soon be displayed for you on the screen and ensure you get it correctly just from the screen as it's going to be displayed for you. We pray that the God of this commission will bless you. The God of our Father will keep you and we enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. We declare as you have prayed, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Standing on this magnified altar, under the magnanimous grace of God upon our Father, I declare upon that hand that is lifted, that your hand is blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare your voice shall be heard. I declare your finance shall receive an increase. I declare everything you lay your hands upon shall prosper. As you shout that amen, the God of this commission will exalt your horn like that of the unicorn. In Jesus' much less name we have prayed. It is settled. Let's begin to walk from the back, dancing to the front. Choir.
preach the word of God with accuracy. But he had a problem in his life that he could not solve. Sometimes he will come to the altar and preach. Everybody are happy. The wife don't beat him from house before he come to church. Sometimes he come to, he glorify the people. Every one of you have joy. You leave. But he cannot go home. He make people to stay in service till midnight because of what he was going through. People were mocking him and laughing at him. In fact, there was a time in his life he died on the altar while preaching because of what he was going through maritally. And lo and behold, life struck. And then the marriage crashed. Same pastor like him. They started telling him that the church would die. Same people that he served God together. They say, hand don't catch up. Because his marriage crumbled. They did not know that what God is doing through that marriage, the life will be transformed. Look at the church that they say nobody will be. Are you seeing the church now? Has God not turned it around? Has God not turned it around? Wait, 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 wait. It did not end there. Listen, even in that storm, Baba gave him a private jet. Are you hearing that one? When the storm was so high, somebody said, it is because I heard of your marital issue. That is why I am led to do this. What the enemy meant for evil. Wait, wait. Even in that storm, Baba gave us a beautiful, strong, fearless lioness anointed vessel when the enemy thought it would bring us down when the enemy thought it's all over Baba came and turned it around and today we have a testimony because the God of champion is a God can somebody give the Lord a shout are you ready what the enemy what they wanted one two three no six what the God has turned around. God has turned it. He has turned it around. Turn it. What the enemy want? What the enemy meant for me? Yes, he has turned around. God has turned it around for me. What the enemy meant for me? What the enemy meant for me?
Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift up our hands and thank Him. Thank Him. Just lift up your hands and thank Him. My God is awesome. He can
Moro Arujina Ninu Ake Mio Ibi Anu Paye Mideo Arujina Arujina Mio Moro Arujina Ninu Ake
Hallelujah. Pick your Bible. Genesis 2 verse 5. Let's stand for the reading of the word. See? Standing up during the word, reading of the word. It's not honoring the pastor. It's honoring God. Standing up during offering to give God offering. It's not honoring the pastor. It's honoring God. Hear me. If you don't have money to give in offering, at least give God your standing offering. It's wrong to sit down. After all, the minister of God is going to stand throughout for next one hour or so to feed you. Let's always do this as people who fear God, who reference God. Not man, not as eye service, not because Papa is here, because God is here. When it's time for offering, if you don't have, stand up, dance. You are giving God an offering of dance. Sitting down watching people, I think is the highest disrespect to God. Please, let's take note of it. Okay, Genesis chapter 2, verse 5. Let's read together. One to go. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every app of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down balandociously on your enemy's head without apology. Today, of course, I'll be dealing with our subject for today, higher heights. Tell me about higher height. I'm not hearing you well. Shout it in. Maybe I'm the only one ready to go to higher height. Shout it again. Say higher heights. As the topic sounds in your ear, so is the meaning. We are not talking about you going higher. We are talking about you going higher than the heights that you are now. Somebody is going higher. I thought you were shouting that amen well. If the amen is louder, somebody is going higher. Shout it like thunder. There's always a height for everybody in life. I give you six keys for higher height. And then from these six keys, I'm going to discuss about four of them. Number one key for higher height is patience. Nobody go higher in life without connecting to the key of patience. Set a man diligent in his work. He shall not stand before mere men, but he shall stand before kings. Patience is one of the first key to higher height. Number two key is prayer and fasting. This can one goeth not out except through prayer and fasting. So it simply means when I pray, when I fast, I get access to greater height. That's number two key to greater height. Number three, changing foundational patterns. No height in life can ever be attained when the foundation itself is faulty. So it simply means for any height to be attained, then we must consult the foundation. Number four, on higher height, is the anointing. The anointing is a propeller and a breaker of strongholds that hold us down. And hear me, not only a breaker, but a destroyer of yokes. Some of you need the anointing. And the anointing is a transporter so you must understand how to transport yourself by the anointing. And there's an anointing here 
that is coming upon somebody here that will take you to higher heights i don't like the way they are shouting that amen well if the amen is louder the anointing that takes you to higher height is released for your life and your destiny in the name of jesus i thought you were shouting that amen well and the person shouting it well is getting the next level and going to the higher height i'm not hearing you shouting it like thunder shout it again shout it again shout it again number five is what i call the work factor nobody gets higher if he doesn't walk towards it to get higher so any man you see high high in life is an high worker see any man that is diligent working hard you see the man attending heights in life there is no juju that makes you get to somewhere overnight let them give you all the voodoo in the whole world if you are not hard working you will suffer listen to me there is no juju that keep a man let them rub all your face with pancake if the man come if you don't have a walk towards your character the man will leave you say they took me here they gave me kaya mata kaya mata will matter your life rob all the kaya mata put it everywhere you are going to be matter and what is matter anything that has weight and occupies space the depression in your life will have weight That man tie, that man, they, they don't tie that man down with juju. Nobody tie any man down with juju. Na karata na they tie man down. Look at the way you are talking and you think you will go higher. Number six is the grace factor. Somebody say grace factor. Say grace factor. Paul said, I am what I am today by the grace of God. So we started with number one. Number one, patient. Number two, eh? Eh? prayer and fasting. Number three, changing foundational pattern. Number four, eh? Eh? I'm not hearing you. The anointing. Number five. Eh? Eh? I'm not hearing you. I want to hear again. I say what? The work factor. Number six. The grace factor. Let's start it. Number one. Patient. Number two. Prayer and fasting. Number three. Eh? I'm not hearing Eh? Changing foundational pattern number four. Eh? The anointing number five. The grace factor number six. Eh? Okay, the work factor number six. The grace factor. Let's start number one. Patient number two. Prayer and fasting number three. Changing foundational pattern number four. The anointing number five. The work factor number six. The grace factor. Now, everybody wants to go high in life. But it's not everybody that understands that clamping high in life must follow a step. There's a procedure that you can see this step. You can see. I need to go up here. But you can see. Sometimes making progress in life doesn't look like progress, but it's progress. You see it? Sometimes when you are making progress, you are not balanced, but you are progressing. Are you seeing me? Are you seeing one leg is at the back, one leg is at the front,
but I'm making progress, but it doesn't look like I'm making progress. Sometimes when your life doesn't look balanced, it doesn't mean you are not progressing. It simply means that God is taking you gradually and you need patience to clamp up. And now what is happening to me now? My two legs are balanced. And why? It's because I followed the ladder to get to where I am. I'm going to deal with four things there. I'm going to deal with the patient factor, the foundational patterns, the anointing pattern, and the grace pattern factor. And let's talk about the foundational pattern. And that's where we read from. In Genesis chapter verse 5 put it again follow me 2 verse 5 every plant of the feet before it was on before it was in the earth and every app of the feet before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain if you read that you will think that the plant and the herbs were in the earth. No. You have to underline the word before it was on the earth or in the earth. So simply means God was speaking here and saying every plant of the field before it came to the earth. Every app of the field before it came to the earth. Because there was no man to till the ground God did not cause it to rain. So it means that the plant themselves did not rain because there was no man to break the foundation. If a foundation is not broken down, it doesn't matter who is the sower and who is the owner of the seed, the seed will not grow. Your problem is not the prophecy you are receiving. Your problem is not the prophet that has spoken to you. Your problem is the pattern of your foundation. God himself said, I will not cause the rain to drop on the ground because the ground itself has not been tilled. To be tilled means that the ground has not been broken down. It means that the ground has not changed. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Every of your hard ground in the name of Jesus, I break them. I don't like the way they are shouting. I break every hard ground. Every ground that I've refused to produce, I break. 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 I break every hard ground. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, every ground that I've refused to produce from your father's side, from your mother's side, I command them to produce right now. Every of your hard ground, I command it break. I break either from your mother house, from your father's side, from your husband's side, from your wife's side. I command every foundation that is strong. I command you break. Jump up and say break, break, break. Shout it, break, break, break. I'm not hearing you well. Shout it again. Break, break, break. If that amen is louder, some foundations are catching fire. Hey! In the name that is above all names, every foundation from my father's house, from my mother's side, that I've refused to break, I command them, break! 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 Every heart foundation, holding my marriage, holding my job, Holding my promotion, holding my next level. What are you waiting for? Break, break, break. I'm not hearing you say break. 
say break 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 if you shout it where you are the one i'm talking about sit down so the foundation of every half of the field and tree of the field before it rained on the earth the Lord God did not cause it to rain because there was no man to deal with his foundation then the question is no matter how you pray for blessing to come from heaven the blessing will not come if you don't deal with your foundation. God hold rain because a man refused to break the ground. So the question is there are certain breakthrough you will never get if you don't focus on your foundation. The problem you have you think is your prophet holding your promotion. You know? I'm not coming to church. The reason why I'm not coming is because my prophet did not pray for me. Make sure no dear. Your problem is not your prophet. Your problem is that you that owns the ground have refused to till the ground. Imagine. Oh my God. Imagine a prophet walking to you and telling you, I see promotion. And you are telling the prophet, I don't believe. Not directly but you are, now today we hear prophecy who is the owner of the ground you are the one who is willing to rain the grain god and god is telling you that i will not cause the rain to fall until you break the ground in service like this people will be praying and others will cross their leg and say now today we hear prophecy if there is no ground breaker there is no rainmakers. If no man is ready to break the ground, there is no God that is ready to rain the rain. Can I teach here? Can I teach here? Tell your neighbor, break your ground. Say it again. I don't know where you are born from, but after today, I'm seeing myself appearing in your village with angels we are breaking the ground with you i said we are breaking the ground with you we are breaking the ground that thing that say you will not have money i break the ground i break the ground i break the ground in less than 24 hours in this month of september my name is joshua Igilla. By the oil on my head, by the aurora on my head, in this month of September, I prophesy higher high, higher high. In this month of September, in the name that is above all name, Ashanda Barabada Shata, higher height, higher height, higher height, higher height. Where nobody has entered, you will enter in less than 24 hours. Where nobody has entered, you will enter in your family. Higher height. The one saying that, Amen. Go higher than your enemies. Can I talk here? Somebody is breaking his ground. Listen to me. Nobody can go higher until you deal with the ground. Hi, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That's what we call the law of gravity. And it is called, it is attached gravitationally to the land. Please just jump up and see. Do you know what brought you down? It's called the law of gravity.
that is why an aeroplane must go higher above gravitational force that when it get to that height where it is above gravitational force it is now said that the plane now is now balanced cruising at an higher latitude far above the sea and height do you know why there is a level you get to in height where you tell your to your enemy they cannot catch you again are you hearing me there's something that says you will go down but i came to tell that enemy the way they tie your mother and tie your father down they can't tie you down hey! i said they can't tie you down i prophesy they can't tie you down they can't make you cry they can't tie you down higher 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 you are going higher i say higher height higher Lift up your leg and shut fire. See that? Sometimes people don't know why we tell you pray on the ground. You don't know why? There's one thing on earth that is never satisfied. And that's the ground, the earth. You watch the rain that fell for how many days? The whole grounds were flooded, and all of a sudden, the grounds are dry. Do you know why? The earth is willing to swallow as many things it can swallow. <laughs> Listen to me. After heaven, which is high, the next place you should respect is the earth. It has swallowed presidents. It has swallowed billionaires. It has swallowed anointed men of God. It has swallowed generals of generals. It has swallowed the wicked. It has swallowed the righteous. So when you fear heaven, you have to fear the earth. Do you know why? You must not trouble yourself in satisfying people you don't know why they came from the earth and the earth is one thing that is never satisfied no matter you no matter what you do for a woman being if that woman being does not have holy ghost they can never be satisfied give them all your life they will tell you is that you have done nothing it is because we came from the earth the earth will swallow water swallow all kind of dirty and we swallow it and remain and pretend as if it has never touched anything let the rain fall when the rain fall the water will be upon the earth give it 24 hours the earth will pretend as if water never touched it discovered the mystery of the earth I don't bother myself in who complains about me I have given people five cars and they tell me that what have you done for me I've given them three I'll sponsor people for ten years pay their house rent married for them and when they wanted to leave me they leave me and said they made me look like the sinner and they look righteous. So I now understand. Hey, who is man that that man full of? Yes, he came from the earth, and the earth is never satisfied. That's why, if you don't marry a man and a woman that is full of the spirit, you will steal for her. She will still be complaining. It's only woman being are praying to be high when they get there they forgot where they are coming from they start complaining about what they have not received you don't know what i'm saying i will tell you when in secondary school you know how you were boiling to enter the university it was like when you enter the university that's going to be the all now you got the admission then you start fighting to finish isn't it Wow, wow, wow. Then you finished. 
and then you went for service but you went for service you were boiling I said well, after you finish that will be the end then the, the next desire came you needed a job now you got a job the another desire start coming in you need to get married and now you are married and that desire came now you need to have children now you have children another desire came you are competing your friend that have Prado you want to have G-Wagon now you have gotten the G-Wagon another desire came you've gotten a duplex now you are fighting again that you need to get another one because you want to show them that you are rich hear me this is why people die early as long as you are breathing the desire to acquire more will continue to come the day you defeat the earth is the day you become content godliness and contentment is a great day when you get to that level where you are content that's when god qualify you for higher heights he doesn't lift up greedy men The ground is still heavy. If you can break the ground, the cloud will break. If you can break the ground, the cloud will break. If there's no breaking of the ground, there's no breaking of the cloud. And when the cloud is pregnant, rain is about to fall. In Jude, he said, I saw cloud gathered. The cloud cannot gather for nothing. Whenever the cloud has gathered, a man has broken his ground. Elijah said, I heard the sound of abundance of rain. Not because, not because he said so. Because he was on neology, breaking the ground on his knee. And as he was breaking the ground, the seventh time when the servant came, the servant said, I saw a cloud in form of the hand of a man. Because the cloud cannot be formed until the hand of a man is involved in it. When the hand of a man is involved, then the pregnancy of the cloud we give birth to rain and elijah cried out to him i hear the sound of abundance of rain if there must be a raining there must be a breaking on the kneel put verse six before i come back to verse five put verse six yeah see what our rain See where water is coming from. Water, the first rain that started didn't start from heaven. It started from ground. And there went up a mist from the earth. Water the whole face of the ground. There went up from the mist of the earth and watered where the first rain that fell didn't come from heaven. It came from it. They came out because a man broke his ground. From the midst of the ground, water came out to water the earth. The first rain that fell was not from the sky. It came from the ground. Your ground, no matter how dry your ground is, water they there. why we talk about the borehole. If you have good citation of a good borehole, it can be there. 25 years, the water is still there. <laughs> the boreholes we have here have been there from the foundation of this building and it's still watering the whole place. We are not using water from water board with boreholes here. The water is coming. The rain water is for a season. But the poor hole is does not have season. You are not hearing me. You are the one waiting for rain from heaven when rain is within you. You are not hearing me. All most of you are looking for an helper that will come from America. You are the helper to yourself until you look in God. The 
there's something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. My helper is saying that you are also a helper, but you have refused to help yourself. Psalm 11 verse 3. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Put it there. Psalm 11 verse 2. Put it, put it. Put it. When the foundation are destroyed, what can the righteous do? That is a question. It's not saying that the righteous can do something. But it's saying that the man on this foundation is righteous but the foundation is faulty and he's saying what can he do i want to tell you what the righteous man can do please bring me the chairs let me show you something let me show you where some of you are can i get somebody that is not too tall and somebody a young, a young small boy a young boy can i get a young boy oh you are good height put it on the chair on here yeah yeah can i get a small boy thank you boy yeah Clamp up. Clamp, clamp that here. I hope you will not break it. You clamp here. Who is taller? Huh? The small boy is taller. Can I see? Yeah, he's taller. The small boy is taller, eh? Do we have somebody shorter than this brother? Who is shorter than this brother? No, I want somebody shorter. Who is shorter? Okay, let me have somebody taller than this small boy. Small boy, come. Who? Let me have somebody like his height. Okay, you. You are taller than this small boy. Clamp. Thank you, my son. Hope the sound engineer is helping me there. Okay, it's evidential. Are you watching? This is the foundation of this brother. This is the foundation of this brother. The reason why this brother is going higher in life, his foundation is on a higher rock. The reason why this brother is where he is, is on the wrong foundation now no matter how you pray and fast he will not go higher than where he is structure of his foundation he has been structured to remain where he is he cannot be taller than where he is because his foundation has limited his growth in life this brother is high because he has dealt with his foundation and his foundation has changed pattern so he's high there are people that are better than you the reason why they are on higher height is not for anything their father has worked for them their mother has worked for them their brother has labored their generation good education they came on a solid foundation so they rested on the shoulder of their father to advance but most of you your foundation had been faulty before you came trying to compete this brother on this foundation is the reason why you are depressed this brother is not your problem your church that you attend is not your problem I was not there when your father went to meet Anyoma. I was not there when your grandfather met Obatala Songo. I was not there the day they gave back to you. When they dedicated you to the goddess of the water. 
the first water you touch was ogogoro sapele water i'm not there so stop fighting me for a problem that was caused by your foundation them well are you watching i need their height not their leg are you seeing them <laughs> this guy as long as he is on this foundation solid rock he's going to be high he can never go down he's always going to be up do you know why because he is standing on a foundation that is solid. And the reason why he's doing better is because his foundation is important. That's why you must understand. You, most of you here, you are a victim of where you came out from and not your church. Looking for prophets up and down. Like somebody that they stole your money and not checking your foundation is your problem. In dealing with your foundation, you must ask questions, check histories, know what is going on, ask questions, be realistic to yourself, covering up the greatest deception is when you deceive yourself. Cover up before people don't cover up to you. When you begin to deceive you, you will suffer the consequence of what you have caused to you. Have you seen the height? Have you seen? No matter how the brother on the other height is trying to grow taller, he can never be tall. Do you know why? This is how far his foundation can raise him. Some of you enter marriage that your father pushed you into, your mother pushed you into, and you want a prophet to solve it overnight. Am I the one that pushed you into it? Can I talk here? Can I talk here? Some of you here, when every other of your contemporaries were going to school, you were going to play football. Your father talk, 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 you refuse. You say, now mechanic, I go learn. Now you have learned mechanic, you have come and nothing bad in learning mechanic. Why are you fighting somebody who is a PhD holder? You laid your foundation by yourself. Then you come to church and transfer the blame on the pastor as if the pastor is the one that started your life with you. Excuse me, sir. You have just joined this church for five years. Excuse me, ma. Let me talk to you. You are 45, 47. Please, what did you do with your 40 years before you came here? Let us address it. There is no magic in ministry. I am not a magician. God is a God of pattern, sequence, process and procedure. You have been taking sugar every day. Your sugar level has gone to, to, to 370. Your doctors have warned you and warned you. You have refused to hear what? You don't join this ministry three months. We pray for you, you are here. But you are taking 42 cubes of sugar in one tea. And when we ask, you say, yeah, is the anointing all these men of God using ritual? You are a ritualist. You kill yourself with your own hand. We are talking for talking to you now. Slow down. Slow down. No hurry in life. Say, so don't mind them. They're telling you so that they can, you can stay in church. Look at your blood pressure going up. How old are you? Because you are competing everybody. You are in a competition. There is depression. You cannot sleep. Your blood pressure is going high. There is no magic to that. If you collapse and die, devil no kill you. God no look you. Say he no protect you. Now you kill yourself. Papa, you are just telling me to forget. You know what this man did to me after five years of courtship? He broke my heart. He broke. If you break your heart, pack the broken plate back. What is wrong in everybody? Everybody had a break for this war. 
after all, what is breakthrough? He break and you're through. If he break your heart, go through. Because without breaking, there cannot be through. Let him break your heart, then you pass through. Church is quiet. See, 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 see. Somebody asked me, say, Papa, I think the way you pattern your ministry now is different from, I said, knowledge has come and wisdom has come. I can't, be dece I can't deceive myself. I'm not, I'm not running rat and, 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 and catch grace. There's a level you get to in life. You have to understand life very well. It's a formula in life. A principle. But I've seen people run. run ah! Go come meet us where we meet us. If the foundation be destroyed, what can it do? What can the righteous do? Now hear this. The righteous can do something. Then in Psalm 40 verse 2, he said, he brought me up out of a merry clay, an horrible pit. Put Psalm 40 verse 2. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. Out of a merry clay. And he set my feet upon what? Upon what? A rock. He brought me up. So, come down. Come down. No, you come here. He brought me up. Go clamp up. Up. Out of here. You come here. Stay here for illustration. Clamp. Because I decided to walk on my foundation. I am. I know that you are a little bit taller. Your height is powerful. But I am not taller than the person that was above me because I walk on my foundation. The reason for my rising in life is the walking on my foundation. Every life problem is not a fruit problem. It's a root problem. He's taller now. And the reason why he's tall he decided to leave the foundation that slow him down and walk on a foundation that is solid, that is higher. Nobody becomes great overnight without walking on this foundation. I did not come out of the most palatable foundation. I came out from a foundation that can slow you down in life but hear me rather than spending time accusing my parents accusing friends i spent time working on my foundation any improved man you've ever seen in life is a man who worked on his foundation and what is your foundation your character what is your foundation the reason why you are where you are now if you don't change your character, if you don't change your disposition, if you don't change how you see things in life, you will remain where you are. There are friends I left for the past 30 years. I met them and the most important thing I see, I see their ideology have not changed. Their perspective about life has not changed. There is still a child's mentality trapped up in an adult. And I tell myself, I can't mingle. There are some people when you are talking with them, they think you are proud. And they don't understand that your perspective about life has changed. And that's it. That's it. If you, if you engage with my young son, Rema, and he's talking to you, you will think he's proud. Not because, it's because of his training. He's bold, he can talk, he can ask questions, he can mesmerize you with questions, and if you are not careful, he will tell you, no, you just lied now. That's not what it means. So you, you will think he's proud because there is a level, your mindset changes that the way you see things and talk, people will think you are proud. You are not proud. You have worked on your foundation. you will not see me my communication skill was poor I was a shy human being and at the same time a stammerer I, I, one of the greatest
best thing I hate in my life is to stand in the public to talk. I don't like it. So in every, every time my family gather, I'm out. But when God wanted to deal with me and start telling me, if you must go far in life, I'm going to use your mouth to advance your cause. I had to start working on myself. The first day my mother heard, I preached somewhere and people were falling down under the anointing. She called me and said, you, I know you. You don't even talk. As I'm talking now, I know you will not answer me. You will keep your head and look at my face. Who, who go talk for that place there? Are you the one? Or they gave you something to swallow? In my life, my mother was telling me, in my life, my hand is clean. Oh, I carry you from a clean belly. And where did you collect power from? And I opened my mouth and I said to her, that in Acts chapter 2 the Bible says you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you mama as you can see yes I was the same child you carried but the same child that you carry the Holy Ghost has come upon me there is a drift in me that I'm no longer the same son you know and she looked at me kept quiet and left me because she need to digest what I am saying hear me if nobody walk on you walk on yourself if nobody walk on you walk on yourself treat yourself treat yourself be a doctor to yourself call yourself Joshua sit down here this character is bad this habit is bad think like this whatever are good whatever are pure whatever are righteous walk on them you are the first prophet to yourself if you don't walk on yourself no prophet can help you thank you sir Come on. clap on for them two of you come here let me pray for you you will go higher I say you will go higher whatever height you deserve to enter you will enter you will enter whatever height you deserve to enter you will enter in the name of jesus i pray for you higher height higher height foundations are changing 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 Isaiah 61 verse 4. Look at it. God is mighty. Put it, Isaiah 61 verse 4. Isaiah 61 verse 4. And they shall build all the wastes. They shall rise up from my desolation. I, say, I thought you would think you would say amen. They shall build old wastes. They shall raise up for my desolations. They shall repair waste cities. The desolation of many generations. Who will build it? Who will build it? God. Who will build it? God. You are going to be. Say I shall build my former waste. My life has been wasted. I build them back. The desolations are repaired. They are repaired. I repair them in the name of Jesus. I repair them in the name of Jesus. The yes, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and caterpillar have eaten. I come back and rebuild them. I reclaim, I reclaim, I reclaim, I reclaim. Whatever I've lost, I reclaim them back. Shot fire three times. Number two, patience. Nobody go higher. Without patience. You hear? Can I say something? You will run faster. I say you will run faster. I say you will run faster. A 
if you shout that amen well you are the one running faster let me get one protocol that can run fast come quickly okay resident pastor come Go to that edge there. I'm coming to meet you people. Now listen to my instruction. This is a competition. I hope you are showing me well. And I want them, this is a competition. And I don't know. Please. I don't know how you are going to get there. But you, your instruction is that this water must not pour. You, anyhow you want to get there, get there. Are you hearing me? But this water must not pour. Show them where. Oh. One instruction is that the water must not pour. Call it partial, no problem. One! Just run. When you hear him, you start. Are you ready? Can I get the two? Can I get the other person? Okay. Brethren, can you divide the screen for me? Stay where you are, stay where you are, nothing concern you. Can you divide the screen on the next person? Can, can I get the second camera on the next person? Please, go. Are you watching? Can you divide the screen? No. Stop there. Have you observed something? The one with the empty cup is running faster. The one with something in the water is mindful of what is in the water. Don't waste your life competing people that have nothing to offer. Listen to me. I might not be running faster. My eyes is on my goal. If you want to overtake, overtake. Because you can get to the end and nothing to show. But me with content, where you see people running anyhow, talking anyhow, they have nothing to lose. Are you watching the pastor with the content and water? Is conscious show the water. Is conscious of what is carried. When you have a name and you have a future, you don't compare yourself with people that have nothing to offer. They can be running faster on an empty tank. Are you watching their attitude? The first one was running because there's nothing. Do you watch him? The one that carried the water is careful. Do you know why? It must not split. What I carry is precious. What is in me is precious. I can't run and lose it. My children, my wife, my ministry, my family, my destiny, my father name, my mother name. I have something to protect. I can't sleep with allergy and lose my life. I rather trek gradually and get there. I know I will get there. My eyes is on the content and not the container. If you won't pass me, pass me because I want to get there with something. Wonderful and his bride, I must get there. Wonderful and his bride, I must get there. My future is bright, I must get there. My future is bright, I must get there. So, when I started my life, too many people are in a hurry. Too many young men, I mean abroad, 
I'm in here. I'm there. They tell me I've overtaken. I've done that. I was not conscious of what they say. I was conscious of what is in my life. And that's why I don't care whether you leave me in the church. My concern is my vision. I'm not competing with anybody. Uh, God has blessed me with all I need. So whether you come to church or you don't come to church, or you want to change prophet and go to another prophet, alele, go to that prophet. What he has be to do, now I go do. My eyes, before you came, this is how I was doing it. Till I get here, you can't teach me what brought me here. It is what brought me here that I will look to not you because you will still leave me around. But what brought me here is my primary focus. Somebody might tell you, let's run. Leave me alone. If you want to run, run. Are you observing that when you have a future, you have a plan, you are thinking of your family, you are thinking of your children, you are thinking of everything. You don't look at another man, you look at what you carry. Too many empty people telling you to live where you are, to where they are going to. Check them. Anybody that can easily live your life has nothing to lose. I somebody asked me, Papa. That's why if somebody comes to meet me and say, I want to leave church, I tell you, is God leading you? Fine. God bless you. She will see you again. As long as you are not going to Shirai. If you are going to another church, praise God. Because somebody left another church to come here. Why should I be angry? But I will never use my content to bribe you to stay. It's a personal race. Hey! It is not speed. It is good speed. Over speeding is bad. Yes, sir. Good speed. You are on 120. You are maintaining to 100. 120. Because you want to maintain. Asoka Lafia. Getting the air alive. Safe journey is not over speed. The reason why most of you, you are chopping from pillar to pole. Pursuing people who are liars who tell you they have six cars, 20 cars, who tell you this is the name, latest thing in town. Buy Kayamata, you go tie man down. Look at your life now, you have Kayamata your life. You are in a hurry, running from pillar to pole, changing churches and changing prophets. And your character have not changed. You watch him. The instruction is. He has gotten there. But his cup is empty. He has not gotten there. But his cup is filled. Who is better? The one focused on his assignment. Carrying what he has. Going gradually. And saying to myself, surely I'll get there. I might be slow like a paramecium, like an amoeba. It's better than running like a lion with an empty tank. Too many people, competing people who are empty with something they have. Hear me, some of you, you have content like pastor here. But you have abandoned the content running a race. Let me show you something. Come. Come together. Now you are going to run. I want to show you why most of you have lost precious things. 
I want you to run now. I just want to show them. Please, can you show the two of them? Now. Bim! Are you watching? Are you watching? Are you watching? When you run, what happens? You lose everything. Competition is a demonic sickness for distraction. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Competition is a demonic sickness induced for distraction. Don't compete. Stay where you are. As long as your eyes is on your assignment, you are better than the people running very fast with empty. Anytime you see anybody not minding anything, living a reckless life, they might be in a hurry to the grave. If you don't want to die, don't compete them. Let them say they have overtaken you. But hear me. It is not how you arrive. It's what you arrive with. I met many pastors in these cities. Most of them travel everywhere. Some of them are in town. I've closed. I choose to stay here in Kubwa. I don't know town very well. And I don't care to know town. Because I know my area of assignment. I stayed here. Up to today, if you tell me to go to town, somebody have to carry me to town. Because my assignment, when I was in Buari, God told me, go down to Kuba. So I am here in Kuba. It is at this Kuba now I stay. Thank God turned my life around. I bought houses abroad from this Kuba. I bought things around in this Kuba. It is in this Kuba. Here in this local place, a jet met me here. It is in this same Kubwa where everybody is running to town. I don't know the way to town. I know the way to my assignment. It is in this Kubwa. I don't go to town. But I get to the airport, fly to many countries. Countries most of my pastors were looking for. Were looking for me. Invitations from president. Invitation everywhere. Some I go, some I don't go here. Because it's not about traveling. It's about content. <laughs> the man of God was angry with a young pastor and said to, and said to the young pastor, you invited me and gave me little penny. But you are begging in Gila to come and you are able to do this um, so so amount. I heard that. Why? You are disrespecting me. He said, with everything I even beg in Gila. He said, he's not coming. He said, it's not whether he come or, or not come. Why will you give me little? And the person you are begging, you are begging with times hundred of what you have. And he said, no, he's not preaching for money. He's not coming. There are people running all their life to get money. There are people sitting down and money is coming to meet them and they are doing that. Patient! My daughter that testified that she was promoted to the director level. She had been in this ministry for, a year, for years. Following every instruction. Receiving prophecy, connecting, believing and sowing and not show up, not eye service. When it is time for God to lift her, God took her to the number one position. You are here and they are still telling you that maybe this thing, they are arranging it. Maybe we arrange that one. You were here last week, a woman, 27 years barren, met with me on my birthday. Prophetic word came. 27 years barrenness got terminated. You don't even believe. You know how I came here. I came with traveling back. I did not come with this building. Umba, 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 umba,
Umba, umba, umba, dura. Umba, 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 dura. Olorun ti moji. Umba, dura. Umba, 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 dura. Umba, 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 dura. Umba, 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 dura. Olorun ti moji. Second Kings chapter 2 verse 19 Hear me Your situation is not as important As where you are standing On your situation, and the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, we pray you, the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord said, but the water is not, and the ground is barren. The situation was bad, but the man of God said, Take this, cast it where you are standing is more important than the situation. If you want a change, look at where you are standing. Luke 19, verse 2. Let me show you a man called Zacchaeus. If you change your position about things, things will change. Behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was the chief among the publicans. And he was rich. Zacchaeus was rich. Now you say, men of God, they go to rich men's house. Jesus went to a rich man's house. Put on there. If you don't read Bible, you don't go to no Bible. You don't say talk. Some people just talk anyhow. We are going to heaven. We are going to heaven. We are, we are going to heaven. Have you read that I saw a new heaven and a new earth and that we are going to reign here on earth. Now you don't fly, go heaven. When we fly, go, we'll still come back. Now you don't know, say, this earth is important. That we are not going to stay forever in heaven. We will come back to this earth to reign. Oh, you see, you know they read Bible. If you read that, you go understand. Why you need to make her here? Because we still go come back. We'll come back. We're going to come back. I fly away to heaven. I fly away. When I walk, hallelujah, by and by, I fly away. I fly away to glory. I fly away. When I walk, Hallelujah, by and by, I fly away. Hello, it's heaven at last, but after we got to heaven at last, we will come back to earth again. That's a teaching for another time, not for today. No, I don't care about the things of this earth. You go still come back to this earth. He will roll it and there will be a new earth. A new earth. A new earth. Put the next verse. Okay. Put, put verse 2, please. Luke 19, verse 2. Are we ready? Please help me. Luke 19, verse 2. Let's deal with this. Luke chapter 19, verse 2. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was among the publicans, and he was rich, very rich. Go on, verse 2. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because 
He was of a little stature. There was pressure everywhere. The crowd was everywhere. There was a foundational problem. You can be rich and still have foundational problem. He pressed. Pressed. He couldn't see Jesus. That morning, when Jesus woke up and was going towards that place, we went to Jerusalem, we saw the sycamore tree. Jesus was going there. He thought Jesus was coming for the righteous man. But Jesus was actually, because he's so many science, he was going to his house. He was looking for a position where he could see him. Put the next verse. May you be positioned where? See, you can be rich and your foundation can be a problem. And you start to see Jesus. Go to verse 4. 4. 4. His stature. Your stature can be a problem, but we can change it. <laughs> and he ran before and climbed a sycamore tree to see him. For he, he was to pass that way. May you climb a sycamore tree. There are people you will never see in your life until you climb some other people's shoulder to see them. He ran. A woman being can be your sycamore tree. Your sycamore tree is your connection. He climbed. The guy was shocked. But what he climbed made him taller. <laughs> in this room here, somebody here, is clamping a shoulder that will make you be, to be taller. Your height is the reason why he will spot you. God will position you where your helper will see you. You are not hearing me well. I say, God will position you where your helper will see you. <laughs> Oh my God. One of my daughters got married just this way. He had a she has a terrible migraine headache. And they used to have paracetamol, Panadol. But there was no Panadol for that morning. She said she just dressed casually to go to the chemist to buy paracetamol. There was no Doshibaki. No Brazilian air. It was a natural air. And she was, she had not taken a bath. There was no makeup at all. She went to, you see, you see, when God wants to do something, He will do harm. She went to the chemist to buy paracetamol. What talking to the man? <laughs> the pharmacist and she was giving the money the man that married her today came there also to buy paracetamol God give two of them headache so that made their headache go soft for pharmacy she, she gave money collected paracetamol man where won't buy paracetamol you know they look again he can't look at another paracetamol. He dropped money and didn't collect paracetamol and follow my daughter. I said, Excuse me, excuse me, can I get your number? And she says, She just looked casually. She just gave him the number and left. Eh? Then she said, Before she got home, the number on the caller. And she said, she picked, she said, Hello, who is this? I'm the man you met in. Say, uh -huh. Can I help you? She caught the call. That day, now so the bombard call. I won't see you. I will see you. She said, I'm born again, sister. I don't do rubbish. She said, me too. I'll be born again, brother. I don't do rubbish. That is how, to cut the long story short, they are married today with two children. Sometime, the things you call trouble are not trouble. They are your sycamore tree. 
if she never had migraine headache, she will be at home. But God allowed that to happen to push her to where her husband will see her. Department can be a sycamore tree. <laughs> Nobody know you. After church service, champion, bye bye. You don't go again. Say gida. Then what do? You go see again. You don't go with that one, no. God, where is your face? We are not married. Piki, where is your face? Why are you no clam sycamore tree? Church is quiet. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, smile. Say smile. Smile. Socialize. It doesn't kill your spirituality. Now when you smile, now you don't lose Holy Spirit. Ah. Some of you sisters, you are the reason why you are not married. <laughs> if I talk now, when I say, Papa, don't start. The one that they squeeze face in trouble. Even as I the preacher, don't they smile? The question we say, are you a mopopolis? Are you a military soldier? Are you infantry? What is the even Mopo? They are smiling. Who mobilize you? <laughs> Sit down, please. Don't worry. Am I helping somebody here? Oh, shut fire. Shut fire. Fire. Even some of you brothers, you are the reason why sisters are afraid. You propose sisters, and I say, No, I cannot marry him. He's a wicked man. How do you know that he's a wicked man? Say, look in face. Look in face. You know, face too strong. We carry small picking, give you the picking, look your face in the cry. Why is the child crying? Picking, no, say, your face is wickedness. The church is quiet today. Hey, brothers are looking down. You are the one I'm talking about. I mean, the person behind you. The one behind you, the one, that one behind you. I mean that one. That's the person I'm talking about. Are you, are you blessed today? Something is about to change. Number three point I want to move is the anointing. Isaiah 10 27. The anointing is not broken but destroyed. Isaiah 10. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away of thy shoulder and his yoke of thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. This scripture is given due to the traditional mechanized way of farming in those days. The yoke is what is used to tie the animal down. Please, can you display? The yoke is what is used to tie the animal. And then, the burden ties two animals together. The yoke holds the neck. If you can display, that's what you see that holds the neck of those two animals. It's the yoke. Then the burden is the plank you see that holds them together then it plows. It means that as that thing is attached, what, is, what they are dragging to do the farm is a body. And the yoke ties them together. So, the farming mechanism, because there's no tractor, it is easy. Easy. You can see this other animal is down. Because some of you, you have a yoke, but you are tied to another yoke. And there's a body. 
You cannot run faster if your associate is weak. Then he now say, by the reason of the anointing, it simply means the anointing will be put on the yoke around the neck of the cattle or the oxen so that it can soften so that it can be a softener to the yoke so that when the farmer removes the body he can destroy the yoke if the body is not taken away the yoke cannot be destroyed so what the farmer does the farmer carries hot oil and put around the neck of the oxen to make sure that there is an elasticity and oil and flexibility so that when he wants to destroy the yoke he can destroy it easily but first he must take away the burden from the animal to separate them and they don't do that until the farming season is over when there is no need for the animal to plow anymore then they come with the oil some of you have gone through too many things in life. You have over farmed. You have toiled. You have labored. I came with the oil. The oil. See, 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 see. The oil is not to break the yoke. When the yoke is taken, when the body, the body has to be taken away. Body is what makes you feel heavy. But when it is taken away, the thing that holds you down, slow you down, must be destroyed because of the anointing. Not broken. The anointing doesn't break yoke, it destroys it. Today, every yoke that holds your life down, I destroy them. I don't like the way they are shouting. I destroy. I destroy. I thought they are shouting that amen. Every yoke from your father's house, from your mother's side, holding your destiny, I destroy. I say be destroyed by the reason of the anointing. In the name of Jesus, the oil over my life. I command, I command, I command, I command. Let the yoke be destroyed. If you shout that amen well. I command the yoke to be destroyed. Hey! Yoke be destroyed. Yoke be destroyed. Yoke be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Yoke be destroyed. Right now, I take away the body. What makes you cry? I command it out. I did not hear that amen well. I command it out. Jump up and shout, be destroyed. talk about the grace factor which is the last one but before talking about the grace factor let me say that the work factor introduces you to the grace when you walk you don't walk because work can produce all you need for higher height it's because work is the platform that attract grace When we started our church several years ago, one department I will never forget in my life is a sanctuary department. I cleaned the church. I was a set man. join doing it listen to me how work is very important work is what makes you know that there's nothing magical about life 
your effort must meet God's enablement. If God does not put hands on your effort, it's nothing. He must bless the work of your hands. I want you to listen to this last part. All the young men after had failed in growing all the churches I tried to open and have seen how men can fail I removed my eyes from men and I positioned my eyes on God and my ability This church is blessed with so many big men some secretly and if you know you will never hear me say I use my phone to call you and ask you for money for what I won't do that and I will never follow you up because you are rich in fact if you show me you are rich that's when I withdraw from you if you come to work you come to church the reason is because I've seen how men can become demigod in the life of men of God when they follow them. You see, the reason why I'm able to preach the way I'm preaching and fire you the way I fire you is because my boast is in the Lord and not in any man. In this country, when I was growing up, I ran to some spiritual fathers which I will not mention their name. Some kept me for three days in their city. I was coming, going, coming, going. They refused to see me. Some, I came in. The first question they asked me, how many members do you have? I just said to them, these are the members. Okay, bless you. You can go. I will see you. How do I see you, sir? No talk. Please, I couldn't reach them again. And I discovered Somebody, where is Igila coming from? Igila is coming from God. My eyes were now on God until I submitted to David Yongichu. Flowed with him, called him, prayed for me. My passion about him was not because he was a prophetic general, it was because he was a man of souls. And that is what I'm called to preach salvation, the cross, to win souls for the kingdom. When I hear somebody say, where is he coming from? Where is his spiritual father? No! You know why? Because in some areas in this country, spiritual fatherhood is about who gives the highest tithe. Why they are looking for people like us? It's not because they don't know we are genuine. It's because they know if we submit to them, it's fat tight. where you do not labor. Hear me! If you're a prophet, a deliverance minister, a word based minister, honor fathers who have contributed to your growth. Church is quiet today. Work is excellent. If you're a young man, you can't go anywhere. Don't work hard. Forget it. Somebody come here and I see this beauty. He thinks it's overnight. It's work. With grace of God upon. Let me talk about the grace fact. And we round up. The grace fact is when God bypass your effort and crown your small effort with higher success. Not because your effort qualifies you we say this is the grace of God at work when the grace of God is at work even you cannot explain how you get to where you are See, all this jumping from one place looking for somebody to help you and somebody to miss concussion for you is because you never know the grace of God
some of us, when we look back, we know this is the grace of God at work in our life. That's why some of us, our contemporaries find it difficult to accept us. Not because they don't know us, but they don't understand what manner of grace is this. I'm a product of his grace. I've seen grace. Not because I'm good at what I do. Because his grace made me good at what I'm doing. His grace. It is the grace of God that turns your joke to reality. It's the grace of God that puts you in the midst of battle and makes you a hero and not an error. It is the grace of God that speaks mercy when men are speaking judgment. It's the grace of God. The grace of God is the perpetuation, the continuity, and the maintenance of mercy. Mercy can be obtained for a day, but grace is obtained throughout lifetime. It's when you look at yourself and say, I'm not qualified for what I have, but He gave it to me. Grace is when you stand <laughs> and see what has swallowed others did not swallow you. It's grace. Maybe have not tell you this. Maybe you've heard it partially. I watch all manner of sicknesses healed in my crusades, church, program, all manner HIV. Any type of sickness. And one day I broke into tears. I will tell you. We started the service, the old side, from morning. You know, we closed around six. We finished. And in that service, I remember vividly some of the powerful testimonies with evidence. I got home, and my first daughter. Sharon. She had crisis because she had sickle cell anemia. She was almost gone, lifeless in my hands. And in that service that we had, somebody testified of how my anointing upon my life healed sickle cell anemia from SS to AA. And this is me going home. And my daughter is lifeless in my hands. Because of sickle cell anemia. And I wept. My tears was on her body. I said, Lord, you gave it to me. I didn't choose it. You gave her to me. Hear what God said. In Yoruba, I heard God say, Mo fiele yi sofwe kwe, mo jue lo ni ono kono. God said to me, I used this as a temptation. I permitted this to humble you that I'm all sufficient and me alone. You might be highly anointed, but every day of your life, I put you on your knees to remember that I'm God. For you are God all by yourself. 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 beside my baby and I said Lord you are God and you alone that's why if you call me brother it 
it makes me remember that I'm a mere man. I don't want the title. It, 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 you see, when she came back to life, still bouncing and working stronger today, I knew it's grace of God. Grace sometimes can be sour in the mouth of the tester. You are the some of you say, hey, I, I'm not coming to church. If I tell you my trials in life, you will understand that even the anointed also cry. Don't say, God, I want to be as anointed as Igila. Can you go through what I've gone through? That's why I tell, when you see me, I, want, I, I mind my business. I take my step one at a time. No, I'm not moved by the drums. I take my step one at a time. I don't hear what you say about me. What is new? There's nothing new anymore. Kilo Joe Tiri. I don't want you to take black or jack. Tio Badi, I don't want you. I'm not going to run back. When you see the trials of life, and then you see where you are. But you know, when that come out of work, some people will conclude you. I rock me, ten years. I ten years. All around me, Mama Jack, I am a big year. I me, ten years. Some people have used the event and the pains of my life to do politics. I don't care. Some have used the thing that made me cry as an anointed man to accuse me. I don't care. I am where I am by going through the trials of life. And that's why I don't look at another man's time to run. The reason is because I am a product of his mercy and grace. Listen to me. You are seated here. I'm saying this thing. You will hear me someday, somehow. If you know your next 20 years ahead of you, you will salt your tongue with caution. Ore ofeshe ni gakele mi se sukufu araye oku o mi Do you know what it means? It means if you know the thing you are insulting somebody about in the next seven years, your own will be worse than that. You will humble yourself. Ibamiro, oku man soro oku, and oku mokbo umaku. You don't get what I'm saying. Sometimes you are talking about the person that have died, but you don't know your own is close. I met my son, Pastor Shedon Johnson, his father, in Odogo Barak. We lost Mr. Ruben Ulusokwe, one of my great leader's wife. And we went there to console the widow, the widow, the Ijo. She was like the mother of the church. Why the church was going. Then Shagun's father met me at the T-junction. I said, Kai, this man is a wonderful man. I don't even know why this man will die now. And he's full of health and vitality. And he said to me, Pastor, let's continue to pray. Maybe for our pastor, just be praying for us. But you see that my son Shagu, hold him tight, oh, because I know he can prosper through you. That's his father now talking to me. Two weeks later, he died. That's why I said, dead body. They talk about dead body, but he no know. If you know, sometimes that the things you criticize, it's the pathway of your life. You will know why sometimes. Somebody who has tested power when he wants to criticize another person who is in politics, they talk carefully because 
it doesn't look like that until you get into it. I watched when good luck Jonathan was in power. I saw how the current regime talked. Now they are now in power. And I'm seeing how everybody is talking. So we now understand. You know, you now know. As in you know. And as in you don't know. There is a level you get to. Where you, where you want to talk. You caution yourself. I'm alive today. Only it kept me. I'm alive today. Only because of His grace. Oh, He kept me. God kept me. He kept me. So I wouldn't let go. So I wouldn't. factor and what is the grace factor he will take a small boy like david and put him at the forefront and take the greater brother and put them at the back grace factor grace factor grace factor we take the most ugliest woman put her at the best seat and take the one that is beautiful and push her at the back at the background he can do anything grace factor he will bring the most complicative life with dirtiness and give them the best. Because hear me, it's not by your righteousness, it's by his righteousness. So if I see a man of God preaching, I'm righteous, I'm better, I'm holy, I'm better than this man of God. Please, really, really, really. There are too many things that cloth cover. If cloth is to be exposed, Ashirima too. If no be God, tell me hey, today. I need more for grace. What's enough for me today? Oku, Oku, you are there for me. When yes, of time, oh, when yes, of time, you know the form. Oh, see, 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 about to locate you. Most of the people that have blessed me in life, I can tell you, I didn't even fast for them for two days. Neither prayed for them for one hour. They just appeared to my life. I said, take. Grace is not about labor alone. It's about favor. 
it is defined partiality. Qualifying the unqualified. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up, everybody. Stretch out your hands. I've seen God. I've seen God. Our God is here. <laughs> Come on. Don't let my enemies meet with my helper. We did an anniversary here. Somebody made a vow to give a car. He came to drop the car as a sacrifice. He met somebody who is a member of this church. The person, you, how will you give a car here? He's, he's too blessed. What, what are you giving car for? Don't give any car here. I didn't see the car with my eyes. He called. I said he needed his car. I said, give him. No, we don't hold things here. Give him, let him go. I got home. Somebody else called me. As I watched your program on air, when you were saying, sow a seed. And I made a vow. I'm into cars. And I sell Prado Jeeps. And these two cars I want to give, is not for the church, it's for you. The one he took away. To the grace of God and the glory of God, I don't need to abuse it. Was a cash out. The one we get, the one he gave, that is if they can drive it to reach that junction. It was a cash out. But the one that the person called me to give, Tia Roba, Prado, too. That same day. Now hear this. The person that told him not to give to the church was a member in the church. But the one that called me. Do you know him? You don't know him. May God hide your real past from your enemy. Say, my father, may my help pass not meet with my enemies. Open your mouth and pray. May my help not meet with my enemy. Open your mouth and pray.
and pray. Let's go. 
Jesus not a son of man to bear. He's not a man that he should love. Not a son of man to repair. Now tell me why you've given up on God. I tell me why. Hallelujah. Amen. Sit down. Please hear this prophetic advice before we move forward. To be a prophet of God, genuinely, it's not about seeing. It's not about prophesying. It's about maturity. It's not everything genuine prophet sees that they see. A bit of advice before I move forward. God used me to help somebody and I was doing that because of the instructions God gave me to help because of where I'm coming from and I did and that, that person was a beneficiary not just of prayer but material financial support from me. And I was doing that without looking back. And the person was well behaved. And that attracted me to do more. Because I felt that this person deserved to be blessed apart from helping. So I got committed. One day, I asked the person to come. I was about to bless the person with some amount of money, which I might not disclose. When the person came and sat before me, I perceived an aura that was not godly and it threw me off balanced and I said Lord and the Lord the spirit of God in me laughed and said this person has gone to do something to rob so that he can get more favor from you and this person has gone diabolical so I withheld the gift. And I said to the person, I just call you. God bless you. And I asked the person to, because the aura was, when I mean something is satanic, satanic. I didn't need to get into argument to make that person lie in front of me. And I said, God bless you, God bless you. I just said, let me see you. Left. And God said, don't drop any of your penny 
into the hands of this person anymore. The door of favor closed for you. Should I confront the Lord? Say, no, 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 no. I will deal with this person my own way. It's not for you to do. That's not your assignment. Your assignment was for you to learn. Maybe for such a day like this to talk to some of you. And what do I mean by that? When God opened a door of favor for you and you did nothing to get the favor, you don't need to start doing something strange to get the favor. When from the first time, you did nothing to get the favor. Now, how were you doing before the favor came? That is what you should continue to do. You see, we spoil our miracle with our own hands because we are too in a hurry, going nowhere for what God has given us already. This person did not do anything for me to be interested in that life. And then the life of that person was just going the way God wanted. And I just, not because God spoke to me, but because I just have to do, I just saw the need. The day I was to do the most important thing in his life, he, he went somewhere to collect something. See, favor doesn't come by juju. It comes from Ma, sir, wives, great women, if your husband entered your life without juju and voodoo, that same oil that brought him will keep him. You don't need to kolobe him. see, the way God moves, it can look slow, but by the time you want to bless you, eh, he, does, he can give you 25 years harvest in one minute. I know what I'm saying. Our God is a very interesting God. Don't be in a hurry. Take it easy. He knows you have a need. He will do it for you. See, 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 see. There is an apple and you are already in it. You don't need to help yourself. He has, he has already started. And what he has started, nobody can close. Are you hearing me? If I open some of you phone, you have 25 men of God. Prophet on the mountain, prophet in the wilderness. Now all these prophets then they for wilderness. Now their prayer they strong. They know they see light. Now inside city they day. Makurot or Inje. I told you about the story of the prophet who who told the woman that he's fasting, eh? And they gave him money. 50 or so. He took them there. He's on a mountain praying very, very well. Seven days, biri biri. Biri biri means no water, dry. And the woman said, This prophet of God, where they fast, no go visit in family to encourage wife. They got there <laughs> because he was not expecting an August visitor. No clothes, now only singlet. Pounded yam. Very big, very big man. <laughs> God, I will catch him. The woman opened the door. Enter. Now, when the thing they in mouth, come, 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 come. God, <laughs> God, I want to catch you. Be, do, be giving people fasting to fast for you because you are not, you cannot fast. 
You will not know how to fast. But people will they fast for you. Be giving them fasting. Fast for me. Me. I know they fast. But I go pay you. Fast for me. When trouble of life touch you, you go learn fasting. You have you seen trouble in life? Then put food in front of you. You then look the food. You not see the food. No appetite. No appetite. You then even ask yourself, say, I don't eat. Wait a minute. I, I don't eat. I don't eat. Hungry, no cashew. You never see trouble. Where you see trouble? Say, when you see the seafood, you get appetite. You cry. After you don't cry, you can't clean your chest. Enter kitchen, go job. You get appetite, you don't get trouble. When you get trouble, appetite, they disappear. Papa, I'm, I'm finished. You are finished and you are making up. Putting Brazilian hair, drawing lipstick and everything. If you are finished, you don't put lipstick. Once I see you make up, come and cry before me. I need to move. I just say, God bless you. you under 24 hours enter the eye you have never entered enter the eye you have never entered I thought you were shouting that amen like thunder enter the eye you have never entered doors open 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 Doors open. Favor follow you. 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 Sit down. You are going higher. I say you are going higher. May your success look for you. I was praying for something very delicate one of this month. Last two years. Very important thing. Very important. And a number was calling me continually. Ringing. You know there are some people when they call your life, even call center. You will, they will call your life even you will retire. The number was calling. Pele, 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 pele. The number called me, called me. I kept my phone on silent. I went for a meeting, came back. I saw 21 missed call. Number 21 missed call. I was on my way going again. The number started calling again. I, I look at the number. Not because I was tired. This and sometimes some four one nines. These are the operate. They will trouble you away. They call. They say, "Oga, Oga Pastor, there's a goods from America." <laughs> oh God, I've seen things in this my life. And some of them can even be a member. They will tell you there's goods from America. <laughs> Some people, <laughs> I'm a barrack boy. I came out from barrack. You can't dupe me. If you are trying to dupe me, you go tire. <laughs> you don't know where they come from. Barrack, barrack. 
I suffer, I suffer, I suffer. I saw barrack, real barrack boy. All my life was in the barrack. If a soldier train you, you know, get sense, you know, get sense again. <laughs> Even small, when we, when we become full, army belt and conk, they correct our head. Conk, conk. Are you not supposed to know? You go get sense. So you're trying to dupe me, you're wasting your time. You can't dupe me. <laughs> but in this case, I now receive a text. Say, please, sir, can I get an account? I want to sow, I want to bless. You prayed for me. I said, well, I did pray for many people. And okay. eventually, I picked. And the person said, I want to bless you. He mentioned five. But I'm not going to tell you. I said five gu guinea. So I said, is it five so, 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 and so? He said, no, it's not five so, 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 and so. It's five so, 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 and so. Ha. And now, I said, please, repeat it again. <laughs> I said, repeat it again. He said, five so, 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 and so. Don't worry about it. So, so, and so. It's so, 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 and so. Hey. So, I now say, please, what are you doing for a living? I don't want EFCC matter. <laughs> he said, no, check me out. I'm this, I'm that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And just this thing I'm giving to you now. It's not even half of what I get as profit a month. And that was rude. And then, I check out, I check out, I check out. And I say, okay, please, don't do that. Come, let me talk with you. Now you can, you see, you see, sometimes, you see, sometimes to be big is not easy. He came around, I, I said, because experience has taught me lesson. So after we now talk and talk, I call somebody again that knows something about crime, something matter. I said, please, this person wants to show this. They told him to follow all the old system. He said, no, 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 we do. Now, that is where you know somebody who is genuine, who wants to do for God. Normally, somebody will say, why, why are you passing me through all this thing? Are you, not, are you doubting me? I said, no, I'm not doubting you, but if you go through this and it is clear, then you can go ahead. And he did everything, and the whole thing came in. I'm trying to say to you that the breakthrough I was looking for, 10% of it, was what I was looking for. And it came in that volume. But it was knocking at my door. I was busy, busy, being distracted. Can I pray for somebody here? What you are looking for, we look for you. I said, we look for you. If you shout that amen, it's coming to your doubles. I say, it's coming. Retro is coming. Favor is coming. Favor is coming. Breakthrough is coming. Right now it has entered your door. That blessing that will change your life, enter your life. Sit down, please. Can I say this? If God is using somebody for you, and the person is forming a God, I change the channel. A new channel that will turn your life around. Receive it. Hey, Yanu to ju Yanu lo. Anama na ma ya gashia. Hey, that a new channel, a new channel, a new blessing, a new blessing. Your door open, your door open, your door open, your door open. family amen. amen but our forces fighting you yes sir yes sir yes sir in fact they don't just want people around your mother's children to go up at all yes sir yes sir but yes, this sir. is a new level amen 
I just saw you clamping a ladder very fast. Amen. Very fast. Amen. Very fast. Amen. I pray for somebody here. The speed to go higher. Receive it. Amen. Come here. I need to see you. Forgive me. Finance is in a calabash. Yes, sir. Covered. Yes, papa. I'm seeing money that is supposed to come to your hands put in a calabash. Yes, papa. They don't even want you to experience that speed. Yes, papa. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Anyone they have covered your money. I pray for you as a prophet. Today, I break that evil calabash. They have used to cover your finance. <sighs> Every evil calabash. They have used. I need to see you. Every evil calabash. Sister, there is a curse on your head. You, yes. Oh there is a curse. Oh, Sometimes you feel strange headache. Yes. Sometimes people chase you in the dream. Yes, and when they chase you, sometimes you find out that you are falling from a high yes. mountain. And when you want to oh, come down, you wake up. Right. And if you know what is happening, hatred. Oh, hatred. And sometimes people, dream. you saw me in the dream. This battle is going to end. Never. This battle will end. Never. This battle will end. Never. 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 In the name of Jesus. Evil calabash break, 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 break. Leko shata baka intaba. I break every evil calabash. I break, I break, I break, I break, I break. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Fire. Strange force, you will let her be. Let her be. You will let her be. Pack your load out of her. Free. And just by a word of the sister, country, she is free and free indeed. Something is sucking your blood. Yes, sir. There is a snake spirit yes, pursuing you. Yes, you see a snake in the dream, yes, and they are fighting you people marital life yes, in the family. Yes, you force. I break in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Free. You are a star. But what is happening to you is not normal. Yes, you are a star. Yes, sir. And what God wants to do is mighty. Yes, sir. But if you are not careful, they will destroy you. Papa, yes. Because I'm seeing what God wants to do in the next 19 months yes. around your life. Next 19 months. Celebrate Don't Jesus. be in a hurry. Things will turn around. Amen. I break Amen. the cause of delay. Mighty name of Jesus. Bring him here. Fire. 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 The mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Let fire. The mighty name of Jesus. You force. You force. Holding his destiny. I torment you with fire. I torment you with fire. You force. Holding his glory. Mighty name of Jesus. You spirit of delay. You spirit of hardship. You spirit of hardship. I commend you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you free. Celebrate Jesus. Come here. Watch as the man of God. God is going to put money in your hands. God is going to put money in your hands. Hear me. Stand up. Money is coming. That money you... Thank you. What did you say? What is in your home? God give it to me. God give you to me. You can see the excitement on his face. This is the money is going to come. Stand up. Supernatural identification for higher heights. A touch from the oracle of God. 
there is nothing impossible for God to do. Watch as the oracle of God prays for them for financial breakthrough. There's a sickness. Hear me? Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. I pull you out of that coffee. That demonic coffee. Out. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus. God can still restore. Do not die your in silence. Problem, Baba, is from your grandfather. Not your father. Your grandfather. Please stand up, Baba. Stand up. Stand up. You people are great farmers. But there is a lot of battle. Yes, our father. There was some fight with your grandfather over land matter. And your father collected the land. Your, I'm not talking about your father, your grandfather. Collected the land. On this land matter, there was a cause that was placed because of that land. And that cause came upon your father. And that cause is fighting you. That's why you find out that there's strong poverty. And people are dying anyhow yes. in the family. Yes. You, you are not enjoying yourself at all. Yes. And they don't even want woman to stay with you at all. Yes. And there's something you do doing very far for protection. And you did something for protection. And that thing is also affecting you. I'm going to pray for you. This spirit will let you be. And you are going to be free. A generational revelation to set the generation free from poverty. There is nothing God cannot do through the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Igenla. Have faith. Open up your heart. And let the God of Papa Joshua Igenla change your story around. Watch as April, God. May, June, July, next year. You are going to meet with some people. Amen, Papa. And these people, two of them are foreigners. Yes, sir. There will be an opportunity that will come up. Yes, sir. Before, I, before the end of next year, an opportunity will come that will take you out of the country. Amen. Now hear me. When that, when that opportunity comes, yes. it's not going to look like money for you. Yes. To be as if you are just going, going to do in a, a research to get something and that. Yes. But that will be the beginning of your turnaround. Amen. By 2024, oh, I'm seeing you in a duplex of your own. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yeah, By 2025, yes. I'm seeing you employing laborers, employing so many people. Amen. Because in your family, they don't want anybody to prosper. Yes. You gather is scatter. Yes, you gather is scatter. Yes. Right now, you are owing debt here and there. Yes. Everything has scattered. Three days you could not sleep. You lie down, you can't sleep. Yes, Sometimes you are, you are even you are confused, crying, talking to your wife. Then what is going on? Do you know something? In your dream, masquerade will pursue you. People will chase yes, you. Yes. Sometimes you wake up, you cannot understand the dream. Because they are bad, bad dreams. Do you know why? A woman close to your mother took your star. Yes. They took about 347 of your star. But if I be a true prophet of God, I restore, 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 I restore. The delay is over. I thought I'm prophesying. The delay is over. In the name of Jesus. 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 The marital life of so many people in the family is under attack. But I want to put an end. Either somebody is married, the marriage scatter, or there is a delay. Is it true? Is it true? There's an issue of spiritual husband. But I put an end. I thought they are shouting that amen. I want to see that. I thought they are shouting that amen. Mighty name of Jesus. I break the yoke. I break the yoke. There is a man that is always appearing in the dream. Yes, sir. Always trying to make love to you yes, in the sir. dream. Stand up. Every force of spiritual husband shot fire. Shot fire. I break the yoke. I break fire. You, you, what have you done to her? 
What have you done to her? Answer me, what have you done to her? I said, what have you done to her? You don't want her to get married. What do you do to the men that come to her life? Answer me. You are driving them away. How are you driving them away? Talk to me now. You bring confusion. What else have you done to her? What else have you done to her? I destroy everything about her. You destroy everything about her. Yes. How many of you are in the body? We are many. Speak louder. We are many. Fire over you. Fire. 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 Right now, pack your load out. And by a word of declaration, she Pray against a snake spirit. There is a snake spirit troubling you. Sometimes you hear cow, fire, fire. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. I break yokes. I break yokes. Libra Sakapa. I command you. What have you done to her? Answer me. Answer me. Look here. You say what? You say what? You want to destroy her. What else have you done to her? What else have you done to her? Eh? This is the unclean spirit speaking. To make it. Okay. Pack your load. Out. Free. There's sickness in your body. Fire. I break you sickness. Out. Out. Right now. Free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just a touch from the oracle of God and every unclean spirit goes out. Where is your mother? Your mother. Eh? She don't, she don't die. die. I know. But there's something that happened before she died. They put sickness in her body. Yes, sir. You are a carbon copy of your mother. Yes, sir. Very hard working woman. They did not allow her to eat the fruit of her labor. Yes, sir. Answer me, mama. Yes, sir. Yes, the same sir. thing is happening to you now. Yes, sir. There's sickness in your body. Yes, sir. They gave you food to eat in a dream. Yes, sir. And after yes, sir. that, you have not enjoyed yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Answer me. Answer yes, me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And right now, things are very difficult. Yes. In your family, there is no unity at yes, all. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. people are quarreling among each yes, other. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prophetic people, sir. <laughs> The prophetic history now, of the up. family. Stand up. Watch as God is setting yeah, them look free. Look at me. Oh. This is where the oracle of God is praying for her and a generation. They have written down your death date. Yes, sir. But I change it today. Amen. If I don't pray for you on the 27th of December this year, you will go. But I cancel it now. Amen. Jesus. They have written 27 of December 4 13 p.m. that you will go. Anywhere they write your death date, they will die your death. I say 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 they will die your death. Revelation for next week Sunday. It's a prophetic Sunday. And the theme is, if I be a prophet, if I be a prophet, if God has actually called me to be a prophet, if you are a member of this commission, don't stay at home. If I be a prophet, under 24 hours, 48 hours, a miracle will happen to you. Maybe you have never dressed anything. If I be a prophet, if God has called me, my name is Joshua Igila. If God has called me, if truly is on my side, miracles are about to happen. <sighs> Mighty name of Jesus. Say after me, I am healed. Say, I am, I am healed. Something is eating you up gradually. You might look normal, but something is eating you up. I reverse it. Watch the power of God at work, healing the sick. You want money, eh? There's difficulty, dryness. 
Go and bring stone. Three stone. Okay. There is a God of restoration. A supernatural dimension. <laughs> to set the captives free. Watch as the oracle of God prays. Madam. Me. You can't die. Are you hearing me? Amen. You are free. Amen. Give me the walking stick. Celebrate Give me. Jesus. Come here. Watch the power Look here, here, madam. Take your step. Come. 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 Are you just watching like that? Are you watching like that? Are you just walking like that? Keep walking, madam. You are here. You are here. You are here. Can you celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus. I thought they are shouting. Somebody shut fire. Shut fire. Don't touch me or allow me to walk. Don't touch me. Allow me to pass. This is the Anywhere they walk. cover. Next week Sunday, I want to just prophesy. It's going to be deliverance prophecy. Anything holding your hands. Anything holding your success. I command them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Every altar from your father's house. Holding your destiny. Every altar from your father's house. Fire, 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 fire. You say what? What? I must take what? Don't let her to go. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I collected everything you gave to her. What did you collect from her? Eh? Everything you gave to her, I collected. You collected it? Yes. When did you collect it? (laughs) She's not qualified. She's not qualified? Yes. You speaking, who are you? You know now. Fire. I increase the fire. I torment you with fire. Answer me. Answer me. I said, you speak a warrior. Warrior. Power from my father, sir. Eh? From my father, sir. From my father. Power from my father. From my father, sir. I don't want her to go. She wants to break the yoke. I don't want her to break the yoke. This is the unclean spirit inside of her. Do you try to stop her from coming here? I stop Fire. Eh? You say what? I make her anger. I stop her. What to become here? I make her to hate you. You make her to hate me. You make her to hate me. Why? Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. I want to destroy. You just want you, 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 you will see some people. You will see some people. Wait. You will see some people. They will just leave church. When you ask them, they will be saying stupid reasons. No reason. To be going to church where they will sit down and entertain you. You think we are in the days of motivational speaking? They will motivate your life. Your problem will be motivated. We are talking about raw power. Some of you, we don't even hate power. See, eh? to be a prophet is not easy. We are suffering for what we don't know anything about. Light and darkness have no power together. You can see the manifestation. Just a fire, touch. fire, oracle of fire. Today, you are going to pack your load. You are going to pack your load. All of you, one, two, three, out of our. Hallelujah! And just by a word of declaration, she is free and free indeed. The atmosphere is electrifying, and the power of God is moving like never before. Healing is in the house. Restoration is in the house. Deliverance is in the house. Stand up, you. Stand up. Stand up. How are you? How are you? My daughter. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Stand up. Do you know what you said here? No. No. You are just feeling headache all this way. As if I'm losing my sense. You know the spirit said he made you to hate me. 
Huh? Is it true? Well, I don't know, but uh, you don't like coming to church. Um, I got angry. I don't just know. You got angry. Um, uh, you just got angry. Something happened, and you got angry. Yes. Then you put me in your list of the offenders. I'm sorry. Tell me, what have I done with my daughter? <laughs> May I not buy market, oh? May I not pay for market where I not buy? Okay. After the manifestation, but she couldn't God even recall. Amen. But it's a manipulation. Maybe you need to hear this demonic confession for you to know. This is a manipulation. Stay focused. Your glory is here. I saw his light that came upon you after that darkness disappeared. Amen. A new beginning has started. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Celebrate Jesus. This is a new beginning for her. And I <laughs> that, that fire. Fire. The mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Light and darkness have anywhere they take my glory. Holy Ghost. Congratulations. I'm seeing a celebration. Hallelujah. My God. La shuta barakosiata. Anywhere they take your glory to, please sit down. Anywhere they take your glory to, I ask for restoration. I've seen an empty container. You're right, sir. Everything around you is empty. You're right, sir. Everything is empty. Everything, sir. But can I say this? Yes, God is filling you now. Amen. <sighs> Revelation for redemption. The power of God is you worry moving. Too, much. Huh? too many battles. The life battles around you are too much. Yes. <laughs> what you people are currently going uh, going through in the family is hardship. Yes, sir. Yes. Hardship. Yes, sir. Some people are even laughing. Yes. But hear me. God is changing the story. Amen. Amen. As I'm praying for you now. Everywhere help is help is located. You believe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Those who have laughed at you are about to join you for Thanksgiving. Amen. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. You altars. You altars. Fire. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Make my Jesus. You can see the reaction. This is what the power of God can do. Setting the captives free. Restoring lives. Sit down, please. Sit down. There's a testimony coming. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing me? Praise the Lord. You have waited too long. Oh, yes, Papa. And this is a new chapter. Thank you, A Lord. new chapter has just opened up. Amen. A testimony that will surprise you. Yes, sir. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm seeing the key of the house. Yes, yes sir. I'm yes, seeing the key of the house. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God said a new chapter has started. Jesus, it's true, that. Somebody just yes. gave me a car, and uh, yesterday somebody uh, coming from our brother is going to give me GL, another car. Another car. car. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> oh, ro, ro, the first original. time it was um, um, Corolla uh, 2012. Uh, and have you been testifying? No, just no we just brought it. Okay. Oh, Please testify. Yes, sir. <laughs> As the oracle of God confirms the testimony even before the testify. You will receive an urgent message from the village very soon. Okay, sir. Very soon. Okay, sir. It's an, a message that will come. Come, 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 come. Okay. Hmm. Chief, come and see me when it happens. Okay, I don't want sir. to talk publicly. Okay, sir. It's a very sensitive thing. Okay, sir. You will not die. Okay, sir. Revelation are given for redemption. <laughs> you can see the manifestation. My, my name of Jesus. They have tied you to a tree, my daughter. 
I lose you from that tree. I lose you from that tree. I lose you from that tree. I lose you. Now, fire. I lose you from that tree. Every evil tree. Every evil tree. They tie you. Every evil tree. Every evil tree. They tie you. I lose you. Fire. 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 You witch craft spirit holding a life for the past 13 years let her be i commend you by fire i commend you by fire yeah, we are not motivational speaker it's not about preaching eloquently without power free and by word of declaration she is free. this is a supernatural there's a spirit of, of madness in your body hey you told to her leave me alone ah, what have you done to her leave me alone what have you done to her leave me alone i don't <laughs> leave me alone don't touch me don't Fire. touch me why, why, why don't is it that touch you, me why is it that you don't want me to touch you don't touch me eh? Fire. Fire. don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me don't touch me i go touch you what do you want fire Fire! <laughs> Look here! Look leave here! Me alone. I say, leave me alone. Ah. What do you want from me? I want you to go. Leave out. me and allow me to destroy her. Why do you want to destroy her? Why do you want to destroy her? Allow me to destroy her. Why do you want to destroy her? Because she too love God. She too love God. Allow me to destroy her. Oh yeah, back your Lord out leave of her. Free me. now. And she is free and free indeed there is a glory on you but there are forces fighting you repeat after me i will not die before my glory i will not die before my glory my glory must manifest my glory must manifest must manifest my glory must manifest mighty name of jesus 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 fire Fire, 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 fire. You marine power. Eh? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Fire, fire, fire. What have you done to her? I'm frustrated. I want her to kill herself. You want her to kill herself? Yes. How? Answer me. Fire, fire. How many of you are inside the body? How many of you are inside the body? <laughs> Everything is doing a voice chatting. I appreciate everything she's doing. <laughs> what have you done to the men that come to our life? Uh, Answer me. I dropped them away. You say what? I dropped them away. You dropped them away. <laughs> yes. How many of you are inside the body? Uh -huh. Fire. Uh -huh. How many of you are inside the body? From her father's side. Yes. Oh yeah, back your load out of her free. And at the name of Jesus. Where's your mother? Free. Where's your mother? Madam. You can see the manifestation. Eh? Huh? Yes, sir. Your daughter. Yes, sir. When is her next birthday? Next year, January 9th. Next year, January. Yes, sir. Repeat after me, I will not bury her. I will not bury her. Say I will not bury her. I will not bury her. She has been complaining about her health. There's some things that happen. Our dreams are very bad. And there is a plot to claim her two days before the birthday. No. Right now, I reverse. No. Can I pray for all parents here? You will not bury your children. Every arrow of death against your children scattered by fire. <sighs> Mighty name of Jesus. Break. Mighty name of Jesus. I need to see you. Yeah. There is a God. Okay, thank you. Sure. Yes. Okay, I need to see you. Hear me? You? You don't even know where you put things. If you put money here, you forget. Yes, sir. You used to forget things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know why? No. They touched your head when you were eight years, six months, and three days. 
who touch me anyone that touch your head holy ghost anyone that touch your head holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost a prophetic revelation for restoration this is what the power of God free and she is free and free indeed your blood pressure is something else there's battle battles battles yes sir. people who are dealing with you are people you have helped you huh? <sighs> my my, my jesus my my jesus what's happening to you maritally eh? i'm having disappointment eh? disappointment do you know that when you are getting close something must happen yes sir. break the might of my jesus break i release your wedding gown in the name of jesus stand up there's a spirit of death and you shall not die there's a spirit of death you shall not die 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 altars from my father's house holding a destiny altar from my mother's side holding a destiny Pack your Lord out of her now. Free. Celebrate Jesus. This is the power of God at work. Hey, hold that child. Carry that child. You, you are inside the water. You, you are inside the water. You are a queen in the water. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fire. 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 By the authority on my head, I torment you with fire. I torment you with fire. I torment you with fire. You altars, every altar around your life, around your destiny, around your glory. Holy Ghost, please divide the screen. Every altar around your life, around your destiny. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Wicked spirits holding a destiny. Today is your last day. Fire. Ah! What have you done to her? I want to destroy her marriage. Eh? You are free in Jesus' name. Demons have no hiding place. Free. For at the mention of Jesus, free. every knee must bow free. and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. The power of darkness have no hiding place. Stand up, you are free. As the power of God is moving like never. Look before. here. Ta. What have you done to her? Leave her alone. Let me go. Eh? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? See. Anybody can just come and tell you I see. Power to uproot that thing is the major thing. Power to uproot. So, uh, what is the need of praying 25 prayer points when there's no power to uproot? So, hey, some people do marathon prayer, marathon fasting, no solution. There's a revelation of prayer, revelation of fasting, and revelation of deliverance. Deliverance is not telling you to fast for 21 days what we can remove in one day. If you are fasting, it's to discipline your life. <sighs> Fire over you. I break all the covenant. Dry the water. 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 You. You. I dry the water. This is the reaction of the unclean spirit inside of her. Watch the manifestation. This is the power of God arresting every unclean spirit. What have you done to her? Thank you, Jesus. Okay. No wasting of time. You are free. And by the word of authority, she is free and free indeed. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. God is moving like never before.
the sick are healed. Alabara lolorumi. Alabara ni Jesu mi o. To bati soro bero luri. Look here. Look here. Look here. You strong man following her. Look here. A chain of the legs right now I break the chain I pull you out where they chain you there are seven of you under a chain they have slow your speed down as I'm talking to you something will be, you feel like running yes hey you 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 let her be you follow that too much. Why do you follow her here? Yo! 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 Wherever you are, free. Open your heart to receive from the throne of heaven. A prophetic acceleration Jesus. has been opened. Jesu ja shekeshe me. Please sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Moku ho samida la ye. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Jere ye di ye. Lo si ra mi pada. Jesus ja sheke. Moku ho sami. Bring the oil. God is doing something in your life, my daughter. The prophetic move of God. See the way you love me. See the way you cared for me. Manifestations of new levels. And the heavens are open. Take him out. The heavens are open for a new dimension. Can I talk to you? There is struggle. Strong yes. struggle. Yes. You are working hard, but things are very difficult. There is a force from your mother's side that is fighting you strongly. Are you hearing me? Seeing you trying to make things work, but there is delay. That's where so I came many from things. I'm okay. seeing a school, a school, yes, I run a but school. but the school is not doing well. It's not. It's not. not. That is why I came. Pupils come and go. There, there was a time it was growing. All of a sudden, it just went down. Yes, you're right. I'm seeing myself in Delta State, and I Delta moved from State. Delta State to Ibadan. Yes. Who is Viviana? That is my name. But you are struggling and there is strong struggle. But your story will change. Because the Lord is changing the story. Amen. As I'm speaking to you now, the gates of heaven are opening now. Amen. Favor is beginning to work. Amen. I see a pastor. I see a pastor. And I see him struggling to nothing to show. Husband. It's your husband. It's your husband. Your dreams are always very bad.
life complex struggle nothing to show in the dream you wake up there is fear but god is changing the story can i prophesy i see a turn around i see three children you have gone through several miscarriage one two three four five there was one of the baby you lost mysteriously is it true is it true and i'm seeing three boys i'm seeing samuel i'm seeing david i'm seeing shalom there is an heavy load on you sir it's a body burden of the family burden of the extended family you are a great man you have worked very well but nothing to show every time you get close to the breakthrough something happened there was a time you were attacked with sickness in the past if not god they would have killed you right now i'm going to reverse this battle anyone fighting me holy ghost i don't like the way this church is shouted every altar from my father's house, altar from my mother's side holding my destiny holding my star holding my glory what are you waiting for scatter by fire scatter by fire scatter by fire oh foundational deliverance This is a supernatural power. The move of the Holy Ghost. Sister, can I talk to you? There's a big problem. Yes, sir. The problem is your marital life. Yes, sir. They are fighting you. Yes, sir. You get close, something happens, everything scatter. Yes, sir. And you can see your dreams are bad dreams. Very bad. There's a spiritual husband yes, that is disturbing you. Yes, Sometimes it will appear to you in the dream, yes, make love, sometimes chase you. Yes, so many sir. dreams that you know. You know it personally that this is spiritual husband yeah, issue right, and then it's not that people hate you unnecessarily yeah, very hate you. people you have helped no you matter right, how sir. good you are, you are right, something sir. must happen yeah, right. i see myself in kaduna and i came down to abuja and i see struggle and struggle but the story will change Amen. i don't like the way this church is shouting the story will change Amen. anywhere they carry your name and they said Joanna Abdullah will not prosper. I reverse it. Amen. Every arrow of the weekend, let it go back to sender. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. Well, amen. I'm going to pray for you right now. Right. A new chapter will open. Amen. Now, in your family, there's attack. Yes, there's something that happened to one of your brother in the past. Yes, they killed him mysteriously. You're right, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. This one was working and doing well. They attacked him and that's how they destroy everything. Yes. Every arrow of death. Claiming us one after the other. I return it back to sender. Amen. Who is Alfred? Who is Wilson? Who is Johnson? Because I see a change happening now in the family. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen well. Amen. Anyone sitting on my success. Holy Ghost. I thought they are shouting that one. If you shout it well, a turn around is happening. Amen. Amen. Prophetic professor. An oracle with a mantle. Watch as the man of Where's God prays daughter? for her. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Bad dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bad dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There was a time you saw yourself in a building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is left dream. You right saw now. you saw yourself in a yes, building. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are always seeing yourself. Bad dream about your daughter. <laughs> is it true? Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Yes, you saw yourself in a building. All of a sudden, you saw yourself in the water. Is it true? Yes, I see yes, myself in Kogi. Yes, I want to break every battle. Yes, I, I want to break yes. every battle. Yes, Every arrow of the wicked, Holy Ghost. Prayer for redemption, restoration, Sister, and liberation. If I didn't prophesy now, it would look like I'm not seeing you. Eh? Can I pray for you? Yes, eh? yes, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
17 years of delay is it true is it true answer me 17 years answer me my sister huh? Huh? 17 years she just called they told you that you have a blood tube they have said all oh, manner i will give you children now 17 years now it's not about the prophecy it's about what happened after the prophecy Jesus. are you hearing me come here my daughter come here i know it very strong that you are going to give birth to a male child and the child will come on sunday celebrate jesus forensic prophecy madam come here if the child come on tuesday i'm not a man of god if the child come on wednesday i'm not a man of god i say on sunday supernatural power to enforce prophecy madam take it's an anchor chief that came as a result of my sweat <laughs> keep it oh, don't lose it oh. are you hearing me yes daddy. because the male child is coming <laughs> huh? it's exactly your skin color <laughs> are you hearing me look here here there is going to be a benchmark here ah, i saw jesus. him thank you jesus an accurate prophecy yeah Thank you, the day you come and share this testimony I will remove what you use and show you and it's not going to be by the left leg it's by the right leg <laughs> are you hearing me you know pay attention to the details I'm not assuming I'm not saying it's what I've seen <laughs> That's power to I, don't, I, I don't need to spend 20 hours to pray it has been settled in heaven me, I'm just a messenger delivering a message. I don't need to pray too much. It's called power. Agbara, Agbara Agbara it's like I've, it's like I've overflowed today that I forget that uh, our time is fast spent. Somebody shot fire. Fire. I will go ahead next Sunday. Eh? Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Those days I spent six uh, from morning to night. It's over. I'm, I'm really married now. <laughs> la 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 I'm a day of people, we are. 
back up quickly, quickly, quickly. quickly. All titles, quickly come. Wow. Offerings, the account details are there on the screen. Copy them so your seed, you are partnering, you are tithing, you are giving an offering. You are blessed. Your doors are open. Go and prosper. Go forward. Go higher. Greater rims, greater height in the mighty name of Jesus. The rest of your life shall build the best of your life. You are going higher in the name of Jesus. Those of you tithing and giving here, the Lord opened the doors of heaven, the windows of heaven, prosper you, take you to greater height. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. This Sunday coming, the theme is If I Be a Prophet. Shout it like thunder. If I be a prophet. Shout it again. Those of you who book for deliverance, please start coming out. If I be a prophet, when you are coming, come with a bottle of honey or sugar. We want to pray. Something must happen. It's going to be a rain of prophecy. That Sunday is a Sunday of the prophetic and deliverance. So don't come alone. And I'm giving you 48 and 24 hours of manifestation of God's grace upon. So don't miss next week Sunday. All workers of the church, all workers of the church, HOD of department, deacons, pastors, and sanctuary workers, um, HOD of uh, 
uh, protocol choir everyone all the workers all the workers of the church all in any form of any of the department including the boss marshal and everyone on saturday we have general fasting and prayer and i'm anointing every one of you on saturday we are meeting here 7 a.m let's be here this saturday is very crucial and every hod or department that did not attend uh, you risk your chances of staying in your office please so please both deacons leaders pastors everyone this saturday we are meeting together so let's not forget these all workers of the church and please when you are coming that saturday i want you to come with three prayer points on sunday a bottle of honey if i be a prophet don't forget that god bless you I serve a living God, no, even the devil no, say that you are. I serve a living God, no, every morning no, say that you the way no. I serve a living God, no, even the devil no, say that you are. No, no. I serve a living God, no, every morning no, say that you the way no. supernatural power of God at work you can see the manifestation there's something that is telling you that you are going to die yes you you know that this is not you yeah that's yeah you, you can tell yourself yes my perfect what I'm seeing I'm, I'm, I'm seeing myself fighting contending the spirit of death that is trying to claim you perfect. you would have even died of recent if you see how you woke up from dream coughing from dream yes you know that this is not now 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 free and he is free and free indeed celebrates jesus this is what the god of papa joshua again like can do there is a god who restores there is a god who delivers there is a god who sets the captives free there is a god who heals he is the God of Papa Joshua Igenla, who never fails, who never sleep, nor slumber. Wherever you are watching us from, this is the life service of Champions Real Assembly, Chikakori Kubwa Abuja. And this is the atmosphere of deliverance with our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Igenla. Deliverance is setting the captives free. Deliverance is setting the oppressed free. 
Watch as the oracle of God yeah. gives them prophetic yeah. word. So it's, it's not about you looking for women. It's All about right, women All being right, at the center of your life, distracting you. All right, sir. You're a great man. All right, sir. You hear me? Yes, sir. Give it three years. Be patient. What yes, you are pursuing, continue to pursue. Things will open up. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. No shortcut. You yes, are sir. You're a great man. Thank you, sir. You hear me? Yes, sir. Just continue to serve God. Yes, sir. No shortcut. Three years from yes, now, everything will be balanced. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Congrats. Don't die in silence. Call the numbers on your screen. And our counselors will put your you business, through on how to book. Yes, you are worried, eh? Yes, sir. Things are changing, yeah? Yes, sir. I hope when God bless you, you will come back and yes, appreciate God. Truly, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. I hope you will not say the tithe is too no, big sir. to say to God. No, sir. Congrats. Magnifique. Hey, the tree is les oeuvres du diable. There's a worship of masquerade. Ka! Free. Puissance. Comme au temps d'Ancien, les disciples utilisaient la force de Dieu pour faire sortir des démons. Voilà la même chose que nos copains Papa Joshua et Gila le fait de nos jours. Quel que soit là où vous vous trouvez, n'hésitez pas, venez, appelez et juste une touche. There are many darlings here. Oh. Patrick Ola. Okay. Darling Patrick Ola. We are calling you. Okay. There's masquerade. Yes, sir, Father. This masquerade is pursuing you, pursuing your wife, pursuing you. You even see them in dreams. Yes, sir. Ka! Ka! You are the one that is supposed to come for deliverance, not your wife. But you push your wife. Eh, why, why will you leave her? You are the one that needs deliverance. You can see. You can see. You, you can see you the can manifestation. See that he didn't come for deliverance. If I'm not a prophet now, I'll be spending my time on the wife. The real person way they carry the masquerade. Nine day here. Yo! Look here! What have you done to him? Answer me! Fire in the shoe! Fire! 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 Yo! Fire! Come and lay up! Fire! 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 I increase the fire! I increase the fire! Tell me! What have you done? Louder. I want to hear. You say what? I'm finishing him already. I have finished him already. In what way? I have finished him already. In what way? He has been flowing blood for him more than a month now. He has been flowing blood for almost a month now. When your pastor touched him last week, I'm very angry. I don't want him to leave. You don't want him to leave? Because he's a great man. How many of you are inside the body? How many are inside the body? We are many. Speak louder. We are many. Speak louder. We are many. From which kingdom? Uh, on the mother side. Huh? On the mother side. Um, fire, fire in the body. Fire in the body. Fire. Fire. Talk to me. Don't waste my time. Huh? Go down. Go down. You say what? Calm down. You, you are telling me to cool down. Cool air. F fire. Oh, oh, oh. Fire. Let me go. Eh? Let me go. Eh? Let me go. What is, what is going on? Why are you, why are you troubling me? Fire. Fire in the clothes. Fire in the clothes. Fire. Fire. Fire in the body. Fire. Fire. You can see the reaction now, of the unclean spirit. The person that came out of is the wife. Some of you don't even understand. You see, the prophetic ministry is born the prophet. One spending time teaching you the word. It's not because, because I understand that if you know the word, you will know from where I'm drinking from. If I see you are past, let me say I don't see. And I no one talk. Maybe everything will they talk. That's why some pastors can never understand us. Because if it is to preach, everybody can preach. But to know this thing, this is what... Is surprising some other pastor. That's what they will tell you. Oh, this prophet, they are using something. Huh? Can we be normal and do this? Can we be normal and do this? Can you be normal? Our daughter here wrote an exam. She is a, a junior director. And there were other senior directors. She came from behind and took first position. The prophecy started from 2020. She now overtook every one of them. Every, 
maybe she did not take time to explain to you her position. That, that lady is no longer a small lady again. Ah, her, her enemies are now under her. No, you think this thing now? Uh, how did uh, Ibo call it? Help me tell her. Chere Kambia. Help me tell her in order to come see her by yourself. Power. Have you done? I'm finishing. You are finishing. Yes. How you, can he show You can see way? the way the daughter is How can he is boy? The eh? Why? What? 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 Why? Who, who are you shouting on? What saved him today? He said, I want to drop his seed in my father's hand. The seed is with him, so I, you expose him. If not, he can't see. He can't, you can't, he can't connect to you. He said, I want to sow a seed for my father. Sure. He wants to come and sow a seed. Yes. Don't worry, don't worry. Your father is sick. I can't sow a seed for you. What? Oh, okay. You are angry that you want to sow a seed. Fire over you. Fire. 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 I increase the fire. I put fire inside your body. I put fire. Why are you shouting? You think this is your palace? Sorry. You think this is your palace? You are. Why are you shouting? on? You are a garbage. Sorry. Huh? You are a garbage. Sorry. Let me you, know, go. you know, when we do deliverance like this, other pastors say they are communicating with demon. We don't have time. Yeah, yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, talk from jealousy, pastor. We are exposing demons, and you are angry. Are you a senior advocate of the devil? Are we exposing anything more than demons? For this same purpose, he was made manifest that he may make an end. An open spectacle, a caricature of the enemy. Anytime we are exposing the devil, you are angry. You are a demonized pastor. I don't care who you are. See, we are, we are, we are they talking? We are higher than this. One day the sons of God were gathered. And the devil came to meet God in heaven. And said, God himself told the devil, Have you considered my son Job? You were a higher past God, us. The high go there. See, all these pastors that when they talk, they are spending, we are not spending time. But we are making people know there's power in God. That the name of Jesus is not empty. It's not for entertainment. Not for motivational speaking. Not for lecturing. But to approach the works of darkness. Okay. You are going to pack your load. No, 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 ah. no, 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 ah. no, 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 no. You want to stay? I, I increase the fire. No, 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 I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Ah. I increase the fire. Go. I increase the fire. Fire, fire. Me I increase the fire. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. Where, where, where do you want to go? Anyway, I will go. Let you huh? release me to go anywhere I can go. Release me. Just release me. Let me go. Huh? Let me go. If you want to go, then go now. Huh? Okay, let me, let me go. Huh? Let me go. He can't go anywhere until I ask him to go. Let me go. That's why if God has not given you anointing for deliverance, don't go and do. Some people have run mental. Because some of you go and trouble demon in somebody. And the demon trouble. And now it's time to cast the demon out. The demon is casting you out. You leave the person and run away. Then the person is now a psychiatric patient. Because you, you, you went and troubled the water. You cannot remove it. That's how some, some brethren in the old church went and disturbed a brother. The demon manifested. All of them run and leave the church. They left him in the street. The guy was just talking anyhow. And they, they now pretended as if they were not the one that conducted deliverance. Because they see something to a pass here Oh yeah. Pack your load out of him. Free. Some of you might ask, why am I not mentioning where they are going to? I've settled that before I came. So when I tell them to go, they know where I'm asking them to go. Brother, stand up. Oh, it's not easy. This is what the power of when God can do. When you travel like this, how are you? 
Ah, begin. How are you? Leave him, leave him, leave him. How are you? You call me. I call you. Leave him now. You say I call him. Why are you? Leave him. I call you. Yes. I call you. Nana, you just they come. Uh, yes. Nana, you they come. You say I should come. I, I say I should. I say you should come. Or I say I should come. Yeah. <laughs> Papa, Nana, you they come. Pray for me. I beg my son. He's going back to school on Friday at Kotoro. Oh. So you don't need prayer. I need prayer, Papa. As what? after me, pray for my son. After I pray for your son, make I pray for you. Yes. Eh? What you happen? Your shoe don't come out. You forget your shoe before you come. Oh, sure. I don't know one. I'm not to come out people's shoe. <laughs> I know something is wrong, Papa. You know something don't happen. Yes. <laughs> Let's give Jesus a clamp of ring. God has delivered you, eh? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Things which I need to talk to you, eh? Okay, sir. I need to talk to you. God has delivered you. I need to talk to you and your wife. Thank you, I will sir. see you people. Congrats, Thank you. eh? Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yeah? God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Give and Jesus a clap of it. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it. Colossians 2, verse 15. Give Jesus a clap of it. This is the power of God at work. A power to liberate. A power for impactation. My Jesus. A power for healing. An electrifying atmosphere for restoration. Just a touch from the oracle of God. There's a strong battle. Honestly, sir. And the battle you can't even understand. Honestly, you are sir. living from one battle to another. Exactly, huh? sir. I'm seeing you doing business. Mm. Your shop is in a strategic area in the town. Honest. Kai. A strategic area. Kai. But the business is not doing well it's, at all. It's closed down, sir. And in fact, it's battle. Even the rent to pay the rent is difficult. That is why I'm here. Sir. That's why you are here. Yes, Three million is the rent, and you cannot pay. And do you know something? You borrowed 7.5 million. You use your Sienna to borrow. And yet you cannot pay. You can't even sleep at all in the night. Answer me, is it true? And in fact, you are confused because of the way. In the dream, they are pursuing you. Pursuing you. You are a good businessman, but everything is scattered. Is it true? With Veronica. With Mercy. With Princess. My daughter. My daughter. I need to see you. Eh? Okay, yeah. There are other things I need to talk to you. Yeah? Okay, sir. That call for me. My my Jesus. L'homme confirme la prophétie donnée par lui par le copain Papa Dieu chez Ngila. Comme l'autorité a été donnée en tout enfant de Dieu, il les exerce cela aujourd'hui. God has given you victory. Quand tu sens un problème, juste une raconte, juste une touche. Et tout sera fait au nom puissant de Jésus. Amen. Kai! Kai, Kai, Kai. What is Kai, Kai? Kai! Fire! Fire anybody! Fire anybody! Fire! 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 fire. What, what have you done to her? Altars have been destroyed. Evil family patterns have been destroyed. You can see the manifestation. But you're gonna release. This is the supreme power of God at work. Fire! Fire! A touch of an oil. Fire! 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 Fine power of God is at work. Remember. Evil family patterns Go. are destroyed.
God who commands a supernatural activation of prophecy just by a touch through the help of the Holy Spirit fruitfulness is guaranteed call the numbers on your screen and our counselors will put you through on how to book for your deliverance prayers for pregnant women there is a God who can do exceedingly above all you can think of hallelujah you pack your load out free give jesus a clamp offering are you blessed today i ask you to bring your working tools eh? you have them stand up quickly let me draw the curtain today please all coordinators hod workers of the church everyone this saturday we have fasting and prayer this sunday and saturday in the morning 7 a.m let's be here and the team of this sunday service if if i be a prophet a bottle of honey now stand up with your point of contact somebody say higher heights higher heights higher heights higher heights higher heights stand up somebody say higher height whatever is your desire i command them to come to pass 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 in the name of jesus i command them to come to pass i command them to come to pass lift up those things up now listen to me that thing is like your sulam that will take you up whatever is your desire climb the ladder to go up i'm not hearing that amen well i thought i'm hearing that amen well if you're a lawyer a doctor a nurse an accountant an economist a student you are a teacher a civil servant you are a pastor you are a singer, a talented person, a psalmist, a soldier, a policeman, uh, a naval officer, uh, an Air Force person. Any kind of job that you are doing. You are into immigration. You are in, in prison. You are, you are working in any part. A business person. I command. I command. Higher height. You are a retiree. I profess. Higher height. You are a child, a son. You are uh, anything that you desire. In the name of Jesus. In this month of September. Higher height. I'm not hearing that one. Higher height. Higher height. Higher height. Higher height. In the name of Jesus. Can I see everybody from everywhere? Higher height. I command the doors to open. Higher height. Higher height. I prophesy. Go to the next level. Enter the next level. Go to the next level. Break barriers. Break protocols. Enter. Ascend. I declare you shall not go down. You shall not go down. You shall go higher. Promotion is your passion. Promotion is your passion. This year they will hear of you. This month that we hear of you that mouth saying amen you are the one god is blessing now i'm not hearing that amen well shout the amen well you are going to lift that thing up and say higher height seven times are you ready one two go higher heights higher height higher height higher height higher height higher height higher height Let's share the grace. One to go, the grace of our Lord.
A wonderful wonderful one it's been a wonderful one honestly speaking god has been faithful god has been awesome see so many people praise the lord how are you how was service yes i'm talking to you staring at me right here honestly god has been faithful it has been awesome in the presence of god and um, the presence of the, the the power of god moved like never before god in his infinite mercy delivered and there was prophecies like my soul couldn't even cur curtail the presence of God right here. In fact, let us call more people to tell us how the service went. And I know you right there watching me, you have a testimony you want to share in the house. Oh, how are you, sir? Hello. Oh, you can come. God bless you. How are you? God bless you. How are you? God bless you. How are you? How was service? It was very awesome. Now, let me ask you, what part of the service got you? Um, every part of the service, throughout the service, I really, I was so blessed and I enjoyed all part of the service. Now, what did you learn? There must be something that got your, your spirit man during the service. Okay, one of the things I learned during the part of the service is to be patient mm. on everything God has, the assignment God has given you. You don't need to be in a haste and you don't need to compete with someone that is not competing with you and because um, the destiny where you are going to determine the kind of things you are going to see in life and what you are going to experience in life also praise the lord so are you confirming and affirming that henceforth you won't compete with people without content so that you don't lose what god has given to you are you affirming it yes yes i i i agree to that i won't compete with anybody and I trust that I'm going to work on myself on that and I know that it's going to be a drastic change over that. Sir, do have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Thank you for coming. It has been awesome in the presence of God. The power of God moved like never before and the oracle of God was used in another dimension. Hello, sir. How are you? I can see the smile. Yes, so, yes I've been blessed. I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Oh, oh sir. What part of this service got your spirit so cleaved? Um, I would say from the prayers. After Papa preached and the prayers, no, 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 it, was, it blew my mind away. Mm. Then the icing of the cake, he was able to promise. I, in short, I was the first person he spoke to today. And I'm so happy, I'm so honored that my life has changed. I'm going to be traveling the, traveling the world as Papa has prophesied. I receive, I receive. I'm this, excited. This is awesome. Sir, can you confirm, can you confirm to us that as you have come here now, you are going back to enforce what has been taught to you? Yes, yes. I'm going to apply the six keys Papa taught us for higher heights. I'm going to apply it to my life personally. Mm. So, yes, yes. I'm so, going to... you, you are saying you have gone to another level? Yes, and, yes. And you, are, you are not left behind? No, at all. Okay, no. if you know you are not left behind, give me the Ororo sign. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. It has been a wonderful one. I hope wherever you are watching us from, something inside of you have changed. I hope something inside of you has gone into another dimension. God is faithful. Oh, madam, please, how are you? How are you? Come, come. The Lord bless you, madam. I can see the smile on you. So much. What part of the service got you? So much. It moves my spirit. And each time I come to the service, I see a lot going back home, receiving from my family, from my life, from my husband to be, from my friends. I thank God for this commission, for God of my father's Can you affirm that after today, you have moved from who you used to be to where God yes. wants you to be? Yes, I can feel it right now. You can feel it. If you can feel it, give me the aurora. <laughs> You have a wonderful evening. God bless you. It's been a wonderful one. I hope you had, you are feeling it, and I hope you had a tremendous time in the presence of the Lord. Oh, you are welcome, sir. Oh, you can come this way, sir. Mama, how are you? Fine, thank you. 
in one word can you describe today's service it was glorious it was glorious sir in one word describe today's service it was great god is good it was great it was glorious sir what changed inside of you what changed the man of god located us and he prophesied and i have a, a leading in my spirit that we are already blessed and that prophecy shall hold forth in jesus name amen mama did anything change inside of you yes i can feel the presence of god around about me wow wow as you are going now are you affirming that you have changed from who you used to be to who what god wants you to be yes yes sir. okay if you have changed let me see the aurora sign <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening, sir. Amen. Wherever you are watching us from, the power of God has been tremendous. The move of God was unexplainable. It is wonderful. Oh, Mama, how are you? God bless you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. The Lord bless you. How was service today? Wow, it was so, it was so miraculous. Papa is doing a lot. God is really seeing him to perform miracles that no other one can do. But the God has always strengthened him. Hallelujah. Can you confirm that after today's service, something has changed inside of you? Yes, a lot of things have changed. I'm even a testimony. I'm a testimony from the things he has been prophesying and all God he has been using his pastors today in our lives. Hallelujah. What is your advice to so many people? You know, so many people are out there. And Papa said, he said something about competing. He said, if you have something, a content, you carry destiny. You don't need to compete with people who are just running helplessly with an empty container. What is your advice to your friends, to people about competition? My advice to everyone is just for you to be yourself and look up to God. No matter how little, believe that the God of our Father is going to put you where you never expected. Amen. Always be contented with what you have and always put God first in whatever you do. Don't be in a haste to make it in life. Amen. God will always see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, do have a wonderful evening and don't eat that rice alone. Don't eat that rice alone. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Wherever you are watching us from, if you have testimonies, please send it to all the numbers displayed on your screen. And if you are thinking distance is a barrier, no, distance is not a barrier. Do you want to talk to the man of God? Do you want to have an appointment? Please, you can send us an email on cityofwonders, C-R-A, at yahoo.com. Yes, our 16th anniversary is forthcoming and the prophetic school is at hand. I hope you are preparing. It has been a wonderful service today. Oh, sir, please come, 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 come. The Lord bless you. God bless you. How are you today? All right, sir, please, in one word, please describe today's service. Oh, today's service was actually wonderful, motivating, motivating, and so beautiful, especially the capture for the program. That is higher heights. God is faithful. Did, can you affirm anything has changed inside of you after today's sermon? Yeah, actually, the, the teachings was powerful and it affected my life. Mm. in a different angle it was like uh, being renewed in the spirit mm. and naturally in the physical like you're telling somebody what is happening around them papa said something about patience you know sometimes some people want miracles now 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 some people want financial explosion now 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 they want everything so quick what hits you when you heard about patience in destiny what hits me is the vector word that is attached to the to be patient mm. Is the key factor being patient is a vector mm. which you have to work with Hallelujah. when you work with it and you know that you're getting to where you're going to Glory especially to his electric illustrations his practical illustrations mm. are teachings that cannot be undermined hallelujah so i do have a wonderful evening thank you for that god bless you sir you. viewers all over the world you must have learned something in this service it is not just about hearing the word of god please be a doer of the word of god don't die in oppression or depression do you want to go through deliverance call the numbers on your screen it has been mind-blowing right here at the city of wonders hallelujah sir how are you please come please come good afternoon good afternoon ma. oh please come please come how was service today to the you fact, personally the fact the service very so beautiful mm. very so wonderful mm. even me myself you know anything where our man of god see 
it will come to pass. Mm. The world they always with me. Mm. Even my people, the world they always with them. Even mm. the people when I invite, they say, to get this man of God, I say they never see you. And from today on, they will follow me to church. Hallelujah. Because the world, the world is sweet them. Not be what I told them, I waited and see the man of God by themselves. Mm. He convinced them, say, they don't have any other place to go again. This is place. Hmm. Sir, there was something about foundation. You know, the man of God said, you, it, it's, if the foundation be, be, be faulty, what can the righteous do? As said in the Bible, what do you think you will do to your own foundation? Because you don't know what has happened three generations or four generations ago. You understand? And then you start blaming your, your superior at work, you start blaming your prophet. What do you think you will do to your own family generation? You know, as, a, as our papa say, you know, some people, their own foundation, they have their own problem for their own foundation. Mm. About what Papa say to jump here and jump in here, mm. believe your prophet. Mm. Believe your prophet. That's why you see say some of them, the issue where they pursue them not from not from uh, our pastor. Mm. Now the foundation where they come from, that mm. is the issue. So to understand them, they have to come down to listen to the word of God, what our papa always say here. Wow, wow, That is sweet wow. me, is sweet me. This is wonderful. As you continue to pray, may God in his infinite mercy hear you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful evening, sir. God bless you. you. Viewers all over the world, did you hear that? Please. Don't blame your superior about anything. Don't blame your pastors and your prophet. Don't even blame yourself. Put everything in the hands of God. That is one. Then deal with your foundation as the oracle of God, Papa Joshua Igil has rightly taught us. Make sure you pray. Make sure you fast. And yes, divine favor will locate you. Yes, you. Hallelujah. How are you? Come, please come, please come, please come. Glory, please come. Sir, you can come this way. Come this way. Sir, you can come this way. How are you, Mama? I am very, very cool. In one word, describe today's service. Today's service is so superb. Wow. And in fact, I've not experienced such services before. Mm. But I thank God because there was this raw power of God. Hallelujah. You can feel it all around the church and even as you know i'm so excited i cannot even at least you are blessed you I'm just know so blessed sir so in blessed. one word describe today's service wow today's service is awesome awesome now uh, what part of the service got you is it the praise worship sermon there must be a part that made your spirit man every segment open. of the service mm. the worship the prayer the prophecy wow and the miracles now during the sermon the man of god made something clear he said dealing with your foundation he said some people are where they are because of their foundation personally what would you say to your friends you know so many so many people will blame their boss they'll blame their pastors they'll blame their friends for probably yeah. their problem what would you say about dealing with your foundation first um i think i would say dealing with this foundation first is the taking the the problem from the root. From the root. Once you dealt with the root, you're out of the problem. Mm. That's what I got from today's service. So once the root is fixed, it's... the tree will produce fruit. That's wow. All. Thank you. In fact, I know you have gotten something. Give me the oro. Give, give, give me the oro sign. Oh, oh. oh. hallelujah. Have a wonderful you, evening. You we well. love you. God bless you. Oh, daddy, how are you? Please come, come, come. Daddy, yes, in you. one word, God bless you too. Come closer. In yes. one word, describe today's service. Today's service is so awesome. Hmm. And uh, like I said earlier in the morning, mm. I say this prophet man of God in this very arena is not a prophet that someone can joke with. Mm. All eyes can see, even those who have eyes, their ear can hear. Mm. So, like Psalm uh, 105 verse 15 says, that touch not my anointing, mm. anointed and do my prophet no harm. Mm. I beg with those who are criticizing men of God, mm. most necessarily our own man of God, because he's doing an also thing in the service mm. of God and in the God's vineyard to desist from it so that I receive the blessing of God. Amen. Amen. It's been wonderful. Make sure you duplicate this evangelism in the world. Amen. Do have a wonderful Thank evening, sir. Thank you very Thank much. You. Wherever you are watching us from, God has been faithful. God has been awesome. It has been the faithfulness of God in this divine service. Like the man of God will say, or as rightly thought us, do not compete people with empty vessels if you are a content carrier in destiny. Oh, mama, how are you? Please come again, come again, come again. Come and testify to the glory of God. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. How was service? 
wow 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 spectacular ah. splendid mm. highly spiritual mm. gangantua wow I, Phantom highly, are glorious. Hi, highly prophetic. Supernatural. Supernatural. Deliverance. Authentic. Breakthrough. Overloaded. To the next level. Empowered. <laughs> distinguished. Hallelujah. Glorious. But you, know, you know, one reason why the man of God teaches us the word of God is yes. for us to go to the word mm -hmm. out there and duplicate whatever has been taught to us. Yes. So I used to state in to us or affirm in to us that when you go back out there, you are going to evangelize to people, not to compete unnecessarily because everybody have different foundation. Yes, my sister, mm. my life is a testimony. Mm. I'm a moving evangelism. Mm. My life, what God has done in my life, I don't hide it. Hallelujah. I propagate it for the whole world to see. Mm. So, and wherever I go, I tell them it can only be grace. Amen. Amazing grace. Hallelujah. Amazing wonders. Hallelujah. I'm the daughter of wonder. <laughs> I'm in the city of wonders. Amen. And wherever I go, wonder follows me. Amen. So, it's not by might. It's not by power, but, but by, by the, the spirit, spirit of the Lord. Lord. And whatever our daddy tells you, mm. write it down mm. and run with it. You are very correct. Yes. Thank you. Do have a wonderful evening. Thank Don't you, eat that. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are in this together. God bless you, madam. It has been awesome in the presence of God. God never fails. God is ever faithful. So this service has been wonderful. Lives have been blessed. Wherever you are, I hope you have been blessed. I hope you will start working on your foundation. Don't forget that you have to be praying and fasting. Don't forget that you shouldn't involve yourself on an unhealthy competition. Don't also forget that there is a God who can change your story. He is the God of Papa Joshua Igenla. Keep calling the numbers on your screen. Send us an email on cityofwondercra at yahoo.com. We are praying for you. We love you. God bless you. Till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.